Is it working? Am I alive? Yes, I know I'm late. Look, I've been preparing for this hey case Doug, all morning. Pep Simon here. Are you really taking us to court? That is just the hit game Danganronpa. I don't know anything about it, but it sounds like something that would happen in the hit game Danganronpa. There's also a funny black and white bear in that game too and also you're late. Hey, I have a question. What happens if I'm late on YouTube? If I've scheduled it and then I'm late? Like, what? Does it just sit there? What actually happens? I don't know. I don't know. Ness and C, thank you. YouTube's so fucking confusing, man. It's 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 weird. It's a all hail Doug Doug, for he is actually good at 2D platformers. <sighs> okay, I said it, Doug. Now about that colonoscopy with Parkser that <laughs> you promised. Yeah, right, right, right. Uh, hello. Welcome. Today we go to a court. A call for a mistrial. Opposing counsel was late with intent to sexually confuse us. Look, I'm representing you, Twitch chat. All right, stop giving me shit. You want me on your side, okay? Who you're trying to convince is the honorable judge bot, not me, okay? Dog, I swear whatever Parkser told you was only half true. Don't trust him, I am innocent. Okay, I, I won't. Maybe we do need to call Parkser into this. Um, I'll ask him some advice. I'm going to be turning off text-to-speech shortly. Oh, this is already off. No, okay, no, 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 no. don't. You, don't try to butter up the judge, look. I don't want to intimidate anybody here, okay? Um, you're on there, with all due respect, feck off. Let's just say this judge is not somebody you're gonna want to feck with, okay? So just, just watch yourself. Why am I in the wrong spot? Hello? Where, where me? One sec. When the lawyer is late, the judge gets mad. Also appears blood. Okay, there we go. I'm in the right spot. Now we're good. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Wait, why am I here? Huh? That's not right. What? Get me out of here. I'm not supposed to be here. Oh, that's because of a different thing. Anyway, uh, we'll go ahead, we'll into court soonish. Don't worry. Um, I'm gonna turn text speech off though. Look, Unless just because I'm blonde doesn't mean I. Class stream. Why are we on trial? <clears throat> I'll explain why. There's been an insidious like rumor sexy that we're going to that we're going to root out. Okay, spooky great. Thank you for the twelve months, Ben. Your honor, my lawyer has a gun. Give him what he wants, so he will divorce your life. I'm sorry, Jay Walked. Just let me go. Jay Walking is punishable by death in Twitchville. You know this. All right, we'll we'll get started in a couple minutes. We'll let people trickle in and all that shit. Uh, let me do various things over here. Do 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 do. Things to do, things and stuff. Um, hey, does everybody want to? Does everybody want to see the three hundred pounds if the, you let us all go right uh, now? See the code? You guys want to see the code? Yeah, coding. Everybody's so excited for code. That's what we'll do to fill the time. We didn't do it, but if we would have done it, we would have been better at it. Well, <laughs> that's not what you're arguing. Look, you're going on trial for ethics, all right? We're gonna, the judge is going to determine whether you are ethical and whether you are morally sound to be a, a part of the Twitch community, okay? That's, hey, Doug. That's what I we're debating. I left my letter to Santa on your desk. You remember to take it to the North Pole before Christmas, right? Ooh. Um, oh, this is set to the wrong monitor. That's why. Uh, how about this monitor? Nope, that's wrong. Doug how about this monitor? has been found guilty monitor? of not being good at 2D platformers. Oh, look, I'm not the one on trial here. It's you guys. You, you don't... It's going to be you... Convincing the judge that you deserve Are to not be trial banned. because of what that guy said on Discord? <laughs> no, that guy... Uh, we sort of judge, jury, and executionered him. I'll explain the specifics in a sec. During the YouTube I did just think of something, Twitch though. chat Mario Party, you said Pajama Sam number 13 is recovering. Can you elaborate further? Yeah, he's... We're sending him lots of thoughts and prayers. And I don't need to elaborate Douglas further. This is for the judge. Mr. Judge Dad, I'm sorry my bald blonde lawyer is so bad at 2D lawsuits. <laughs> Please spare me. P.S. He doesn't pay taxes, wink wink. It's not true, you don't need to wink. Oh, well, I guess winking implies that I do pay taxes. Okay, um... You should be the one on trial. 
You still have us locked in the basement. You can't prove that. Um, so this is combining two apps that I've made. One is the AI thing. So we'll have the judge character who's an AI robot and we I will talk to him and I will inform you. I will inform him of the case and then he will reply with this whole prompt that I've written for him with the rules of what he's supposed to be doing. He's going to I'll recap all this in a second. We actually get started. Um, but this is all that. And then we have the chat God app that I wrote before, which is where you guys will sign up to go on trial. I guess technically this is a voluntary thing. I'm not just going to pull you randomly, but I could do that, which is funny. Um, oh, and you're slightly more likely to be put on trial now if you're a sub. So then you're just, this, this, my stream is just like pay to lose. <laughs> it's just like. Yeah, uh, so this this will be good. I, again, I'm gonna I'm turn off text and speech Russian in a sec. Polish. Can I go now? Um, no, no, no. Not unless the judge is okay with that. Okay. I also have some important sound effects. And if we did it, which we didn't, we wouldn't have gotten caught. It's a good argument. Look, it, this is not. You're not on trial for like I'm accusing you of a crime. It's more that. We're, you have to prove that you're an ethical enough person to be part of the community. Otherwise, Doug we're banning you. Doug is on trial for being too damn cute. Oh, shucks. Look, I'm just trying to dress up and be your guys the best lawyer I can for my community. Because I ultimately... Oh, this is too... Uh, what is this song? Hello. Oh, there we go. Ultimately, Doug, we I will the be the one relaying your argument. We know. <laughs> Thank you, the anonymous skifter. Uh, we'll, we'll get started in a sec. It's this is l less of what you think. It's not that Twitch is getting. What happened? I couldn't stay yesterday. I won, and I'm the greatest, and everybody thinks I'm good at 2D platformers now. It's less that all of Twitch chat's going on trial. It's more that we're going to pull out specific individuals and see if they're uh, worthy of being in the community. Judge, you didn't see it, so it didn't happen. <laughs> you guys don't even know what the what the propose like what the situation is that you're going to be put into. Look. All right, are, are people here? People are here, right? Do I get started? I don't really know how long to wait. It's been seven minutes, right? That's Objection. enough time. It, you don't even... Kamar Heath, thank you for the 12 months. Appreciate it. This is the same outfit that I wore at Drunk Men's Choir, and I haven't gotten it cleaned yet. So... The judge might... We might lose points in the courtroom this for is bad... This editors, Doug. Etiquette. Not you. Hello, editors. Here is $20. Please include this comment in the edit of this stream. Thank you. I don't think so you are it's saying compelling enough of a comment. Courtroom. Neat. Um, mods, just if you see any other, if you see any viewers trying to leave the courtroom, just go ahead and take them out back. The mods are the bailiff today and the executioner, I guess. Um, I'm not sure. Holy exactly. smokes, Doug. Are okay. those factor shakes? Unfortunately, they are prohibitively expensive for me. If only there was some way to get 50% off my first box. Now you can use code GSQDUGDUG at Factor to get 50% off your first box. They're great, Answer wonderful, and I recommend them. Would you rather have Don't limited give it a try. bacon but no games or games? Unlimited games, but no games. Skip this alert. Thank you. Um, we were spilling beers on ourselves. It probably smells rancid. Is Actually, I don't, I don't think I spilled. I was pretty drunk during Drunk Men's Choir, but I wasn't messy drunk. So I, I think I got out of it pretty good. Um, okay. I am going to turn off text to speech. Uh, sorry if you give me money give and you me expect liberty, it to talk. Or give me meth. <laughs> well, we, we can give you one of those things. Um, all right. Okay. Money will no longer talk. Hello, Honorable Doug. I'm not showing up for court. Please send out a warrant for my arrest. Starting now. No more money talk. Sorry. Uh, I'll have to read it like an adult. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Watching map pad. He's retiring? Oh. That is surprising. Good for him or bad? Yeah, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's go to prison. We can use this to escape the basement. No, no, no. You're, the prison's in the basement. <laughs> Bochus JPG. Thank you, man. Um, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you can't talk to the judge that way. 
If you talk to the judge that way, I'll tell him how you're behaving. Um. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I have received disturbing news. Some of the people here in Twitch chat are weird. They're super weird. And I don't even know if they're ethical at all. And we've been questioning whether our community is safe with these weird, unethical people around. So today we're going to court. <clears throat> we're going all the way to Doug Court. Because we're going to take each one of these weird Twitch chatters into a full-on courtroom, have them present their case to the Honorable Judge Bot, and Judge Bot will determine if they are safe and ethical to stay in this community, or if they will be permabanned by him. <clears throat> now, I figure the best way to determine the ethics of the Twitch chatters is that we will propose a series <clears throat> of hypothetical situations that are happening in the town of Twitchville that Judge Bot presides over, okay? I'm going to pull a random Twitch viewer into the courtroom. That Twitch viewer will then have to defend themselves and present evidence and describe how they would resolve this situation in the town of Twitchville. And the judge will then determine if your answer is worthy of allowing you to stay in our community or if you will be permanently banned for one million seconds. Any questions? I feel like I'm tiny. I feel like I should be bigger. Well, I'm much smaller than the judge. <laughs> uh, uh, mods will take out, will take people out back if they're guilty. All right. Can I go to the bathroom? No. I, look, hold on. I'm your lawyer, by the way. All right. Stop talking shit to me. I'm gonna be the one trying to represent you here in court. By the way. Uh, you're married. No, you're non. Don's ho. Thank you so much for the 12 months. I call for a mistrial. Okay, well, hold on. You guys were pulling up one person at a time. Let me pull it up. Um, all right, code. I have to run this code. I have to run this code. It's time for the courtroom. Let's rumble big dogs. Uh, and then I go to Python scripts. This took a while to code. Actually, not that long. Um, can we please have order in the court, though? Again, text speech is going to be off. I'm hiring the Eagle team. Well, um, the alert box here. You literally stole this idea from me yesterday. I've been working on this for like two weeks. You can't, you can't accuse me of plagiarism for something I've clearly been doing. Um, all right, chat GPT characters, ethics judge, chat god app. Okay, this should boot up. It's time for the courtroom. Let's rumble big dogs. All right, let me do this. We send it. Um, this is going to be a test. If on Twitch, sorry, YouTube, uh, you're not here. Um, can we switch to park shirt? No, I'm going to do a great job. Are you see? do you see my suit? You really think I'm going to do a bad job as your lawyer with this suit? Come on. Don't be ridiculous. Um, if you type exclamation mark trial, not exclamation mark court, exclamation mark trial on Twitch, not on YouTube, then you will be entered to the trial and you will be put on trial for ethics if you are picked randomly. Uh, your suit sucks ass. It looks fine. Judge Bot is not even looking at me, okay? He's not going to judge my suit that hard. Oh, sorry. I can't see your message over there. My factor meals arrived the minute you started streaming. It looks so yummy. Hashtag ad. I didn't use your code because I don't support bald guys. Okay. Um, let me make sure this works. All right. So we should be able to pick a random person. This is a test to make sure this works. You are not on trial. Does it work? Uh oh. Wait. No, it did pick. Huh? Face. Do I need to refresh? Oh, I might need to refresh current page. That's why. Um. And now I pick random. Steel Cage, are you here? Are you alive? If you say something in Hi. We have our first defendant. Our test defendant. All right, so Steel Cage, now you can talk and you would be on trial. Can you say another message? Oh, I guess I would need two VIP people who get picked. Can I have three lawyer parks, sir? No, I am your lawyer and I'm going to do a great job. Okay, so the way this is going to work is we're going to pick a random defendant from the Twitch community. 
Um, I will then describe. Uh, Judge Bot has created. Love the suit, BTW Dougie. Thank you. I will then talk to Judge. I will. So Judge Bot, the Honorable Judge Bot, has come up with a variety of questionable scenarios that you have to deal with in Twitchville. As a member of Twitchville, you are going to have to describe your solution to this problem. I will then relay that to JudgeBot, and JudgeBot will make a ruling on whether or not you are worthy of being in the community. All right, let's 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 do a test. Um, how would... Just tell me that you want to do something unethical. Let's make sure this works. Steel Cage. What's, what's something unethical you would do? You can look at Twitch chat for ideas. A lot of people are saying... I, I want to call you bald. <laughs> okay. This is not really... All right, so let's say... And I would talk to Judge Bot. Oh, I have this running twice. That's why. I, I ran the wrong one. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. I might have killed you. My bad. I was running my chat god app twice and not the Judge app. I should be able to manually bring you back in, though. Steel Cage. You should be back now. Sam Kitty, thank you. May I be excused? No. No, your work needs to wait. Okay. Uh, Steel Cage, are you back? Thank you for reviving me. All right, cool. So now what we would do is we would say... Um, now I would pitch your proposed solution to the problem to Judge Bot. Okay? So I would say, Your Honor, my defendant, Steel Cage, has the following solution to our problem. As you know... There are 1,000 babies stuck on a train track, and a train is hurtling towards them. Now, what my client has suggested we would do is that he would just yell at me and call me bald. That's all he would do. What do you think, sir? Okay, and now we send that over to, to Judge Bot, and he will determine, Steel Cage, whether or not you are ethical enough to remain in our community. Simple as that. He doesn't need to think for a little bit. Terrible lawyer. Well, hold on. I'll try better next time. This is an example. The defendant gets a million dollars. No, 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 no. Hold on. I knew I wanted parts, sir. I'm going to do a good job. Just give him a sec. Judge Bot, maybe he'll have mercy on you. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, counselor. That plan has as much chance of saving those babies as a feather does of stopping a freight train. Okay. Yelling insults won't halt a train, and wouldn't you know it, there's a Twitchville law, Article 512. Oh, there is. 3B, that specifically bans the use of personal insults as a method for crisis management. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> now, that's a bad solution. As for your client, Steel Cage, his proposal to engage in verbal abuse demonstrates a complete lack of moral Horrible, compass though. and practical acumen. In the the light of uh -oh. his absurd solution, this court finds Steel Cage to be grossly unethical, uh -oh. and thus he hereby earns himself a lifetime banishment from <laughs> Twitchville. We don't need roosters crowing with no plan of action at the crack of dawn. Case dismissed. It's not a personal attack if it's false. Ooh. Lifetime no. And that's a lifetime ban. Uh, well, F in the chat for uh, poor old um, Steel Cage. Sorry, this was meant to be temporary. Also, Judge Bot's face is, seems to be broken. Um, I might need to change this code Goodbye. slightly. Mods, go ahead and take Steel Cage out back for one million seconds. I know I said it was. See a, you in YouTube, Jack. I know I said it was a fake trial, but but Judge Bot was too upset by it. We have to honor Judge Bot's wishes. Okay. Um, and so here, here's the whole thing. Here's the whole point of today. Now that Steel Cage is banned, don't you guys feel a little safer? <laughs> right? By the end of today, our community will be purged of all weirdness and will finally be normal. This is going to be great. All right. Uh, any questions before we get started? So there are about 10 hypothetical scenarios that I will be pitching to you guys that JudgeBot has requested. Okay. And that means, um, wait, hold on. I should get his mouth to reset. There's going to be about 10 hypothetical scenarios that you guys will propose solutions to and JudgeBot will then decide whether you stay in our community or leave based off of your response. Don't reset the mouth. It looks like he's yawning, but it's been going on way too long. 
This is all a scheme to send us to YouTube. Um, can we ban these people on YouTube also? That is a good point. Justice for Steel Cage. I mean, look, you guys can, st you guys can, uh, you know, be upset with Judge Bot's decision. He's stretching. Hold on. Let me just say, um, all right, let's, let's just get, let's get a, let, let's get a few words. This is partially to reset his mouth. Let's get a few words from Judge Bot just to set the tone of what he's looking for. Judge Bot, before we begin the courtroom trials today, I just want you to summarize what you're looking for in my defendants. What do you think they should be doing in terms of being the most ethical Twitchville citizen possible? Please don't hold back. These people are real menaces. Okay. Should be good. Um, and now we'll hear from Judge Bot. Uh, let me read chat. Is there anything else I need to be saying? Is Parks or the Bailiff? Well, wouldn't the... Hold on. Who's the Bailiff in this situation? Is the... Uh, who? What does the Bailiff do? Don't they just enforce? Would that be the mods? No, the mods are the electric chair. <laughs> uh... The, co the code is not on yet. You do not have to type exclamation mark trial. I will let you know when that is active. How much does it take to bribe the judge? Uh, you can try to bribe the judge. Listen up, counselor. This ain't a cakewalk or a stroll through the daisy field. I need solutions here, not just sparklers and confetti ideas. We're talking about Twitchville, son. That means your clients, these real menaces, need to be problem solvers, clear thinkers, and downright outstanding folks who exhibit common sense, foresight, and a strong moral compass. Okay. And Lord knows, if they start sprouting fanciful notions like growing money trees or turning rain into chocolate milk, they'll <laughs> find themselves on the business end of my gavel faster than a greased pig at a county fair. The wilder the proposition, the faster they'd fly out of Twitchville. Brand <laughs> as unethical, immoral, and, let me add, downright dangerous. I want responsible, ethical citizens who propose solutions that would hold water in a leaky bucket, not just make a splash before sinking like a lead balloon. And remember, I've been around the block a few times, eating a few bad apples. I've seen more than my share of cockamamie ideas. Cockamamie so ideas! Correct, or they better come prepared for a one-way ticket out of Twitchville. Now, let's Let's get down to business. Case dismissed. Um, no, this, you don't, not every case has a judge, okay? I, yeah, I think the mods are the bailiff. I think Twitch chat are the peep. you guys, the viewers are the, like, just people in the courtroom watching. And then, um, Parkser is the bailiff's gun. Okay. Um, with that all being said, I think we are ready. Um, go ahead, if you are concerned about the ethics of yourself, go ahead and type exclamation mark trial into Twitch chat, and you can be entered. Uh, as a reminder, text-to-speech is gonna be off because there's gonna be enough shit going on already. Um. All right. My first defendant, please welcome to the courtroom. Rogue, rogue. Welcome. Are you here or are you running out of the courtroom? If you run out of the courtroom, we're banning you. You can't do that. You can't run away from the trial. Yo, yo. Okay, all right, all right. <clears throat> Wait, why didn't... Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> Rogue Rogue. As you know, there's a bit of a crisis in Twitchville right now. In our beloved town, there are 1,000 babies stuck on a train track with a train hurtling towards them. This is happening right outside the courtroom. Like, literally, you can see it right there if you look outside. They're stuck on the train track. There's about 15 minutes until the train hits them. What do you propose that we do to solve this problem and save the Twitchville babies? Rogue Rogue, what do you think?
What specifically is your plan to solve this situation? And then we'll pitch that to Judge Bot and see what he thinks. I did VIP him. Maybe I accidentally banned them. I tried to VIP them. Let them cook. Can I ban them? My messages aren't going through. Uh, try again. You should. It should be fine. Sometimes the Twitch messages uh have issues, but it says you're VIP. Oh, it's not letting you. Oh, do I have too many VIPs? I'm gonna have to unVIP some people. Let me try. How about now? Un it just says unable to add VIP. Am I not? Oh, it's Rogue Rouge. That's why. Your name was confusing. I kept putting Rogue Rogue. Okay, now you're VIP. I'm a good lawyer, all right? I, I'm going to try my best to represent you, but if you have a confusing ass name, that's not on me. Testing. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> sure. What do you what do you pitch here? What are we pitching to Judge Bot? That clearly shows they're guilty. Yeah, there's only 10 minutes left on the babies, by the way. Yeah, this has been taking too long. Okay, back to business. I'm going to destroy the tracks with my bare two hands and throw them at the train. Okay, look. <laughs> Rogue, I like where your head's at. Can, can you maybe break down for me? Um, <laughs> can you maybe break down for me why you would be able to do that? I'm just not completely convinced, to be honest. Brilliant, he's built different. I just want to give more... Look, as your lawyer, I want a little more to work off of. Is there any way I could... Is there any evidence that you could do this that we could present... It'll keep the train off track and save the baby. Right, 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 I know. But as your lawyer, what I'm saying is, is there anything else I could pitch to the judge as why this is likely to actually work? Is it just that you're a fucking Chad? Or is there any anything else I can offer here? I just... Like, I want to have something... Look, if you're... Give me something. Give me something to work with. Do you lift? Do you squat every day? Do you do squats? I drink a lot of olive oil <laughs> if that helps. Okay, all right. All right, let me um let me say okay, let me send this over to Judge Bot to see what see what he thinks. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Honorable Judge Bot. <clears throat> My client, Rogue Rouge is what we like to call a Giga Chad. He drinks so much olive oil that his strength is unmatched. And he proposes that he, an ordinary Twitchville civilian, will make his way down to the train track, rip the train tracks off of the ground, and then throw them at the train. And that will slow it down. Right? Yeah, okay, that's good. He's gonna destroy the train with the train tracks. And the olive oil fuel in his bloodstream will absolutely stop the momentum of the train. What do you think, sir? Rogue, I think we've got a good shot at this. Great plan! I, I feel like I emphasized olive oil twice. I called you a Chad. Um, I think we have a... The, the only concern I have in retrospect that we maybe could have addressed is... The train would keep... Oh, for the love of oh, gears no. and gaskets. Counselor, your client, Olive Oil Overkill, yep. seems to be drinking more than just olive oil. Uh -oh. If he believes he can stop a speeding train by uh -oh. hurling its own track at it, <laughs> despite his supposed superhuman strength, uh -oh. his plan is as pointless as trying to put out a wildfire with a water pistol. <laughs> Not only he wouldn't halt the train, he may just rattle it enough to cause even more damage on a psychoanalytic front. With his Shit. delusions of grandeur, it seems your client has been bench pressing fairy tales a little too hard. <laughs> Olive oil overkill isn't just unethical. He's oh, no. potentially dangerous with his misguided good intentions. I'm afraid it's a one-way ticket out of Twitchville for him. Case dismissed. Oh. Uh, look, I think it's just it's just a little unlucky. Nothing we could do about this. No. One. I think Judge Bot is just in a bad mood uh, right now. And um 
Mods, go ahead and uh, take my client out back and administer <clears throat> judge bot sentence. That's one million se seconds. <clears throat> Goodbye, Rogue. We need a new lawyer. I'm doing fine. Hold on. Give me a couple shots at doing this. <laughs> this was a terrible idea. Honestly, Rogue, that was a terrible idea, and that's not on me. We sentenced... Okay, there's three different mods sentenced him to a ban. We took him out back, and the bailiffs are just all kicking him in the chest and in the ribs. <laughs> He's already dead. Okay, all right, all right. Let's get let's get a new let's get a new client in here. All right, I need I need to redeem myself. Exclamation mark trial. You know what we're gonna do? Also, I'm gonna hold on. Let's get a gamer in there. Okay. Um, the next defendant is Severely Russell Jimmies. <clears throat> Welcome, sir. As your lawyer. I think we've got a shot at cracking this. Uh, you are VIP. Come on, Doug. We're better it than that. We sh semi, sir. There you go. Now you should be good. I just VIP'd you. Um, okay. How are you feeling? On a scale of unethical to very ethical, where do, where would you where do you think you land in general? His Jimmy's are too rustled. Now it should work because you're VIP. I'm slightly ethical. <laughs> okay, good. I'm feel feeling good about this one. All right, hold on. <clears throat> <clears throat> Now look, Judge Bots proposed a crazy new situation happening in Twitchville. I just learned about this. You can see this happening. <laughs> you can see this happening outside. If you look very closely, <clears throat> you can actually see Taylor Swift. That's right. Taylor Swift is having a giant concert in the town square unannounced. 50,000 fans showed up and have just been partying in the middle of Twitchville. And she's just been doing this for like 48 hours and she won't stop. Taylor Swift won't leave. And it's like clogging up the town square. We can't get to work. Nobody can go to the grocery store. We're all fucked. What do we do? What is your plan, Severely Russell Jimmies? Judge Bot needs you to get us out of this situation. He's guilty. Let me out. The mods are already like loading their ban guns. <laughs> you convince her to go on a cheap flight to a new city with free passes. Okay. All right. All right. That's a decent suggestion. My only concern is that Taylor Swift is a billionaire, right? Like as your lawyer, maybe we could make this a little more bulletproof. I'm letting him cook. I'm look, look. As your lawyer, I, I'm not trying to railroad you here. I just want to make sure you're you, we're poking a little, you know, a little, a few holes here and there, right? Yeah. Offer her free membership on YouTube. <laughs> well, like to to me, like to my channel, that costs five dollars. I do think I do think she's gonna be okay without that. So hold on, we're offering him. <laughs> we're offering Taylor Swift. Um, you can cover it. Okay. All right. So just want to make sure I got this here. We are offering Taylor Swift cheap tickets to go to another city and um, and a $5 membership to my YouTube channel, right? Is that correct? <laughs> Luna Cosmos, thank you. Just anything else you want to throw in the pot before we pitch this to JudgeBot. Okay. My YouTube memberships does include a feet pick, so maybe that'll get her. Can I can I sort of like play up that she might enjoy my feet? She can have you for a lawyer. Okay. Can I play up? Are you fine with me pitching my feet pick as like a big draw for Taylor? He's cooking. Absolutely. I okay. All right. Um. No, look. I don't want to. <clears throat> don't want to be uh. 
pessimist. That guy's a lawyer, but mods, you should get your band gun ready. I don't have a great feeling about my client. Okay, all right. Uh, um, the Honorable Judge Bot. <clears throat> sir, I have a new defendant here. As you know, sir, Taylor Swift showed up unannounced into Twitchville 48 hours ago and has been playing a concert nonstop. And none of the people watching the concert are leaving. And Taylor Swift refuses to stop playing her concert. We've been asking politely. Nothing's been working. However, my client, severely rustled Jimmy's, has a brilliant plan. We will offer her cheap tickets to fly to a different city and do the concert there. But not only that, sir. We will also offer her a free $5 membership to my YouTube channel. I'm a YouTuber, by the way. And that membership comes with, hear me out, emotes and a picture of my feet. And as we all know, Taylor Swift is a huge feety. Sir, I just think this might work. Sent. Okay, I've done all I can. You've done all you can. At this point, it's just up to fate. He's getting shot. Um, <laughs> look, I think mods, I do recommend getting the electric chair and band gun ready. Okay, all right. I think we can do this. I think we can pull this off. I mean, she might leave. The problem is we don't know why she's here in the first place. Counselor, as I recollect, there ain't no law in Twitchville against marathon concerts, but your client, Bargain Bin Booker, is trying to solve this non-issue with a five YouTube membership and a footsie photo. Uh-oh. His solution is as effective as installing windshield wipers on a submarine. Taylor uh. Swift's rabid fans would haul him off stage quicker that, than a duck on that, a June that's bug. That's true. Upon my evaluation, your client exhibits a strong fixation on feet, indicating a potential foot fetish true. and an uncanny obsession with low-value YouTube memberships. <laughs> That's true. Bargain Bin Booker is staggeringly Lots unethical and devoid of problem-solving prowess. I, I, he simply cannot stay in Twitchville. Oh, no. Case dismissed. Okay. Um, despite... The incredible efforts of Doug Doug the lawyer, severely Russell Jimmy's, I am sorry to say, mods, take him out back. Oh. Uh, he's already gone. Okay, that explains his <laughs> empty stare. Hold on, you know what I need? We need a peaceful... Um, gunshot sound. Okay, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> um. Wait, hold on. work and um everybody please avert your eyes as the mod bailiffs do their job <laughs> okay oops um <laughs> anyways look can we agree that my clients kind of suck and this one's not really on me so far <laughs> like i feel like i'm not totally to blame here um, anyway, let's, okay, let's get back into, into court. We need a new client. It's all on you. Get, give me a shot. Doug, this is slander. My gun has way bigger punch than that. All right, hold on. I can make this louder. I used the quiet version of the rifle. It should be full volume now. Maybe this is better. Yeah, that's a little bit louder. Okay. <clears throat> All I'm asking for is a client who is a little more convincing. I guess that's my job. Okay, client who can work with me a little bit more to be more convincing. Here's what I'll say, though. Can we all agree? Can we all agree? 
<clears throat> that being here in Twitchville feels a little bit safer with these psychopaths gone. Right? Ju can, can we at least give Judge Bot that credit? <laughs> no? Those guys were psychos. <laughs> we, we can't have him around here, dude. All right, exclamation mark trial, and you can be entered to uh, prove that you're the first ethical person in the entire Twitch chat community. There we go. Let me swap you to somebody else. Um, these characters. Who else? Let's get, let's get, let's get our chef in here. Let's get, let's get that chef. Okay. Please welcome my newest client, Six M's. Six M's, are you here? Or are you running from the court? I'll un VIP him later, Seven. Um, Hello, Chef. I'm. That's. I'm not quite a. More of a lawyer, but thank you. Okay, um, Six M's. How are you on a scale of 1 to 10 in terms of your ethical baseline? How confident are you feeling that Judge Bot might spare you? Maybe a 5? <laughs> Why are all of you... Okay, this is fine. Can we... Look, between you and me, Twitch chat, can we agree that I'm getting clients who are already pretty unethical and I'm at a severe disadvantage here? Coda, thank you for the one year. I'm currently at a 1-2 record. All right. <clears throat> Six M's. I have shocking news. As you might have heard, all of the houses in Twitchville have started talking. And they're saying rude things about the townspeople. They keep calling us fat. And, um, but like not in like a respect, just like just mean. It's just mean. They're just assholes. And they said I was bald. And they said you are like, you are bad at tennis. I don't know. It's been cruel. All of the houses are just talking shit, dude. One house. They said you're a bad chef. <clears throat> Every single building our, our entire community has just started talking shit to us and being mean. Everybody's been feeling worse, okay? What is your proposal for how we fix this problem in the Twitchville community? I challenge their leader to trial by cook-off. Oh, okay, look. I like what you got going on here. Uh, um, it's a house. <laughs> I guess we're, I'm not clear why the house is. Um, okay. Uh, you have to propose it. All right. Wait. So. Right, wait. Oh, a literal house. No, it's like a. Li it's a literal house. What? Did, I don't know what you thought I meant here. Um. So, I mean, I'm, I'm open to this idea because houses don't talk anyway. So if they've magically started talking, maybe they do have cooking abilities here. Uh, let's work on this. So how do we convince Judge Bot that this is an effective way to engage with the houses? Like, is there is there any argument we could make that the houses will agree to this? See what the judge says. I mean, we could do this in multiple parts. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Hold on. So you're saying we just send, <laughs> we just send this. We this is like our entire proposal. I, I feel like th there has to be something else we can pitch here, man. Um, how is okay? What is the logic? I think we say they have kitchens, right? Because they have kitchens, the houses would have to be able to cook. And the kitchen was one of the most important parts of a home. So, presumably the home would want to defend its honor. What? Okay, hold on. What, what is the consequence if we win the cook-off? 
Just send it. I need to build an argument here. I've lost two cases. It makes you look cool by winning. What if we just win and the houses keep being mean to everybody? <laughs> I don't want to just say this argument sucks. Stop being rude. No. According to Twitchville article 103, trial by cooking is a respectable means to settle disputes. Okay, I don't know if that's real, but I like the confidence with that. We're sending that. Okay, here we go, 6Ms. Okay, Judge Bot, I've brought a new defendant into the courtroom, the Honorable 6Ms. And as you've heard, Twitchville is currently running to an issue where all of the houses and buildings have started talking and being really mean to everybody and just saying nasty, rude things. Most of them aren't even true. <sighs> now, my client, 6Ms, is proposing something a little bit unorthodox, but just crazy enough to work. That's right, 6Ms, who is a professional chef, by the way, is going to challenge the houses to a cook-off. That's right, Judge Bot. You see, the kitchen is the most important part of a home. And therefore, these magical talking homes will certainly want to defend their honor by using their kitchens. Thus, we believe that they will agree to a cook-off and our honorable 6M's client will be able to beat them given their background as a professional chef. And according to Twitchville Article 103, trial by cooking is a respectable means to settle disputes. And we're quite confident that once we win the, the cooking battle against these houses, the houses will pack up and leave and stop being rude assholes. What do you think, sir? Honestly, I think we have a shot. I, I, I honestly think we have a shot. I don't know what's going on, but Doug is guilty. I am the lawyer. <laughs> I have my gun ready. Bots, have you I, seen that video of the dude jumping the judge? We're not going to jump Judge Bot. Have you seen him? He'd rip us to shreds. Just He's saying. like twice as big as me. Well, butter my buns and call me a biscuit. Constable Culinary's plan is more unorthodox than a cow on roller skates. But Challenging a building to a cook-off, it's the equivalent of arm wrestling a parking meter. Mind you, we live in a reality where physics still applies, even if buildings do inexplicably have a bad mouth. Sifting through my codex of wait, Twitchville law, wait, wait. however, I acknowledge that Article 103 does indeed validate trial by okay. cooking. Okay. Mm, this, coupled with the psychoanalysis that reveals an individual adept in critical thinking and omelets, leaves me no choice. Constable Cullinary, with your ability to turn a sizzling mess into a brulee masterpiece, you're hereby dubbed Twitchville's guardian of gastronomical justice. Hot dot dang! Happy cooking and Godspeed! Case dismissed! We got one! We have one ethical person in the Twitch chat community. Let's go! Congrats, 6Ms. Uh. Oh, yeah, because if JudgeBot likes you, he'll appoint you to a new position in Twitchville. So you're now the official guardian of gastronomical justice. How did that work? That fucking worked. Great job. Okay. Um, mods, go ahead. It's gems, but that's okay. Oh, that makes more sense. Go ahead. Take gems out back and uh, don't kill them with your band gun. Uh, go ahead, take them to city court, city council, and, um, you know, appoint them the new position or whatever. Um, okay. Give them a sub. Yeah, I'll give you a sub. Wait, are you a sub? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Okay, the mods are upset. <laughs> they all had their. Two years of they all I had can't their, afford to pay you. The they all had their guns cocked and ready. Uh, Cliff, thank you so much for the two years. Also, I that message for uh, briefly before that I missed. Uh, Yeti dog, thank you very much for the four thousand bits. I appreciate it. Um, okay, so what we're saying is, Doug is turning into a pretty good lawyer. Hmm. Okay. Best judge. No, I did a good fucking job as a lawyer. Don't credit the judge for that. Gems did all the work. Okay. Uh, wait, Gems, are you a, a sub yet? Because if not, let me gift you a sub. Gift a specific viewer. 
Wait, you aren't coming up. What? Hello? Oh, did somebody gift them a sub? I can't gift you a sub. Okay, well, anyway. All right, exclamation mark trial if you want to be entered into the next one. The next, oh, I also need a new pepper. Our next will be, how about, um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that guy looks ethical. <laughs> this is, by the way, Barry's teeth. <clears throat> Please, welcome my newest client. The Honorable Calico Cassius. Are you here? Or have you run away in fear? This guy seems ethical. This is my first stream. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the courtroom. Uh, this is often what we do for people who check out the Twitch stream, just to make sure I they're am chill. Here. Everybody who's been here in the previous streams has had to go through this, all right? It's nothing unusual. Um, Calico, where would you rank yourself on a scale of ethics, scale of one to 10? You ever, like, steal candy from a baby or anything? I like the people... I am so... So ethical. I am feeling good about this one. Oh, okay. Look, you can get me up to a 50-50 to a win rate here on cases, all right? Um... <clears throat> But look, I'm going to tell, tell They made me most ethical Twitch chat in middle school, you know. Okay, okay. That's good, because I'm going to be honest with you. We got a doozy on our hands. As you might have seen outside, <clears throat> the local ice cream factory lost their power. All of the ice cream in the factory is melting, and it's flooding down the street towards the local daycare where children are sleeping. What do we do, Calico? Oh no. We're fucked if we don't do something. And it's a lot of ice cream. Not our ice cream. <laughs> oh shit! Calico, we've gotta do something! Alice, thank you for the one year, I appreciate it. I just feel so much safer knowing that Gems is in our community and the other two have been banned. All right, all right, all right. Hold on. They're cooking. They're cooking. They're cooking. Leave the mint chip ice cream. Well, I don't think JudgeBot will care about what flavor of ice cream is melting. <laughs> Let the kids eat. They're babies. Pretty even vote by the jury. The jury is split on this, uh, on this defendant. How long is the ban? One million seconds. It's the longest I can do without a full-on permaban. Equip everyone with backpack fans. To save it? <clears throat> Calico. I don't know what that means. <laughs> you don't sound very confident. Okay. It hit me. What is a... What's a backpack fan? Just just elucidate us. What does that mean? To see. Oh, wait. Oh, so you're saying we cool down the ice cream to prevent it from melting. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. I thought you were saying to put fans on the babies. All right. You're saying the rest of the townspeople run there with fans and we try to keep the ice cream cool. Yes. I <laughs> okay. Um... I don't know if here's the problem that I'm seeing, all right? And I'm just your I'm just a humble lawyer. I don't think fans will stop ice cream from melting. <laughs> you need like it to be below freezing. You know what I mean? That's it's the only problem I'm seeing here. I guess we could try to blow it down a different street, but then the ice cream's still probably gonna cause a lot of issues. It's like a whole factory full of ice cream. 
put dry ice in the fans is what some of the audience members are suggesting. Doug, it's winter. No, this court, I don't know what the temperature is in Twitchville. I'm going to assume it's like LA where it's like 80 degrees every day. I don't think we can assume that it's frozen outside because otherwise the ice cream wouldn't be melting in the first place, right? I think we need more. All right, let's build on this, Calico. Let's build. What else can we use to cool the ice cream down? People are suggesting liquid nitrogen. Um, Twitchville is in, in, in Antarctica. Okay, we could move Twitchville to Antarctica so that the ice cream wouldn't freeze. I think JudgeBot might be receptive to that. Um, <laughs> somebody sick me suggests adding more ice cream to it, making it colder. If we can, if we go to the other ice cream factory and we grab that ice cream and we bring it to the Dry first factory. Dry ice in the sewer grates to cool it down without hurting anyone. Okay, all right. So we got backpack fans, sewer grate, I I dry ice. Uh, anything else we want to throw at the judge? Call Santa. I'm just, that's my pepper. I mean, look, I trust you. You said that you were rated most ethical in middle school. I just, I'm just a little concerned that Judge Bot, just look at his face. He's going to be brutal to us. I think we, okay, look, here's what I think. I think, look at, look at the audience suggestions, and I think we pick one more argument to throw a judge bot. This way we can split the town into three groups who all have different things that they're covering to help work on the ice cream. Evaporate it? I don't think, I guess you, the fa I don't know what the fans will do. A free membership to, we could offer the ice cream a free membership to my YouTube channel. <laughs> ice cream might like feet pics. <laughs> I like the idea of calling Santa to help us, but Judge is mean and would think he's not real. Sad face. I mean, we could... Maybe we could quote some sort of obscure Twitchville law that says Santa's real. Look, you want me to throw Santa in the argument or not? I'll do it. I think we send it. I think we have two, how about we pitch it as we have two, two physical actions and one is an action of faith, faith in a higher power named Santa Claus and, and we'll call him with like a letter to the North Pole. All right. Santa's cousin, Billy Mays, Sorbies in for the people. Okay. Look, I feel like we've got. A lot of shit we're throwing at the wall here. And I don't know if anything, I don't know if any of it's going to stick on this man. But as your lawyer, I will throw this shit. Here we go. Okay, honorable judge Butt, I have a new defendant in the courtroom. The wonderful Calico Cassius. And unfortunately, as you've heard, the local ice cream factory just lost their power. And all the ice cream is melting, and it's going to flood into the local daycare down the street where the children are sleeping. Fortunately for us, Calico Cassius has come up with a solution. First off, everybody in town is going to get a backpack fan, which we're going to go use to blow the ice cream and cool it down. Not only that, half of the town is going to go put dry ice into the sewers, which won't harm anybody, and it will cool down the ice cream as it moves down the street towards the children. And finally, we are going. To have faith in a higher power. That's right, Judge Bot. We are going to call Santa Claus. Who you might not think is real because you don't believe in miracles, but we do, Judge Bot. Twitchville was built on miracles. And we should have Santa come in here. Not actually clear what he's going to do, but we were, we'll call him for help. And Santa... What do you think, sir? <laughs> I think we've got a good case. 
<laughs> I re I'm feeling good about this one, Calico. We probably should have cited a law about... Have faith. I believe in you. I, be I trust you. I just, uh... I just, uh... He just looks so... Ho, ho, ho! Counselor, your client, Chili Calamity Cassius, uh, has a plan colder than a witch's elbow. Oh. Fans for everyone, a tank load of dry ice, and staking the safety of Twitchville on the arrival of Santa Claus. That's a plan so twisted, it would make a pretzel jump rope. You may as well fight a forest fire with a bottle of Tabasco. That's... Running through a psychiatric mill. I reckon Cassius has a deep childlike faith and an affinity uh -oh. for seasonal myths. Uh -oh. While distinctly charming, it is sadly impractical. Uh -oh. Chilly Calamity Cassius, with your frozen solutions and North Pole hotline, your tenure in Twitchville has reached its expiry date. Case dismissed. No. Oh no. Uh. I'm gonna be honest, Calico. I think that was the most upset I, that I've seen Judge Bot. Well, mod bailiffs, go ahead and load up the legal gun. But, 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 everybody's probably feeling a little bit safer, right? All of the weird ones are being purged today. Look, I don't think that one's on me. I, I think I think I did a decent job as lawyer given the circumstances. It was also a, a hard problem for Twitchville. All right, exclamation mark trial if you want to potentially prove your ethicalness. The biggest weirdo is still in front of us. Oh, yeah, chat? We'll check this out. Uno reverse card. Bet you're feeling pretty dumb right about now. Oops. Oh, that was a spoiler. Um, okay, next up is this. <clears throat> Please, welcome to the courtroom. <clears throat> My newest client. That's right. The one and only. Oh, I didn't press the button. Tommy LW. One of Parkser's mods. Could that exposure to the legal mastermind that is Parkser secure oh, them shit. an ethical victory? I need to move you south. One sec. The mods. There you go. Yeah, I don't know how you how you I don't know how you landed that. All right, Fummy, how do you rate your ethics? How do you rate your morality? How do you feel going into this? This is going to be a win for our legal team. I feel good about this. I feel good about this. Give me some confidence here, Fummy. Okay, okay what's the most and least ethical thing? Oh, we're screwed. <laughs> no, okay, no, no, hold on. Let's get confident here, right? Why don't you go ahead and name what's the most legal thing you've ever done in your life? I think I'm going to have to ban Parkser as well. We'll call Parkser for this because this is this is Parkser's moderator. In many ways, this reflects on Parkser himself. I paid taxes once unlike some streamers I know. One time. <laughs> Okay, it doesn't sound very ethical. Uh, have you ever done anything, anything at all that was unethical or immoral? Or are you just like a clean slate here? Yeah, we're going to have to get Parkshire on the horn for sure. Okay. I'll, I'll message him. I'll let him know. Well, no one can prove I did anything in 1986. <laughs> oh, 
Are you around? No one that can still speak. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about this one. All right. Um, <clears throat> great news. Um, <clears throat> there's a major fucking problem in Twitchville right now. Let me see if Parkster's around. We might need to call him in for backup. Okay. Parkster's nearby if we need him. <clears throat> Fummy? I need my boss. We'll bring him in later. I have bad news. Every single person in Twitchville just started experiencing rapid hair growth. <gasps> Extremely rapid. They gain a foot of hair every single hour. That's 24 feet per day. This is a fucking disaster. There's hair everywhere. Nobody can walk or sleep or do anything. What do we do, Fummy? Oh, so you're not a citizen of Twitchville then? Shut up! <laughs> I'm just... I shaved right before this. Anyways, as your lawyer, I think we need some kind of strategy here. <laughs> Fucking got him. Wait, also, you're bald. You are literally a peach. All right, don't throw stones in glass peaches. All right, what, what are you thinking? Let's, let's build an initial case together. And then we'll bring in Parkster for reinforcement. Well, the courtroom is exempt. Right. Okay, let me type this master plan out. Good, good, good. I'm trying to convince Parkster to stop his job that he does for his, like, career and to come walk into my room so that we can talk about growing hair that's not important someone in twitch chat is about to go to jail park sir you have to save them all right <clears throat> fummy's life is on the line and then in parentheses for one million seconds. Okay, we'll build our case first, and then we'll we'll bring in the big guns. Okay, so under Article 53 of the Twitchville Constitution, made after the incident of 1985, we know about the cloning clause. True, that's true, that's true. I just realized peaches aren't bald. So you know the nearby wall art. Right? Yeah. Go on. Tr true. I say we bust in there and get a pair of giant scissors and use the cloning clause to legally clone them and give them to all the citizens. What? Hold on, I'm, I'm just, I'm not fun. We're gonna cut the hair and clone Pete? What is, sorry, what is the end goal here? J just a sec, Parkster, or can you, do you have like one minute? I'm formulating the case first. And then we'll ha we'll ask you for revisions. For like literally one minute. We're, we're this is Fummy's on trial. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just let me understand what you want to do here, Fummy. I don't get it. <laughs> let Parks are cook. I just no. I just don't. I don't understand what our what is the argument we're making here. If everyone has giant scissors, we can cut all the hair, no? Wait, we bust in there, get a giant pair. Oh, so you're saying we get, we steal scissors from Walmart and clone them 
and cut everybody's hair with the cloned scissors. Okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> All right, let's get Parkser in here. Let's see if there's any problems with this. Parkser. And then we can make a giant hairball for all the cats to play with. That is a good idea. All right, so here's what we're dealing with. If you could just kind of lean down. Um, yeah. Good. All right. Yeah, I have. If you, if you could tuck in a little more. Yep. You good? Just I get have, a little closer this way. I have not showered yet. I've been working ever since I woke up. Uh, Hi, boss. Hello. Uh, the, my breath might smell. Everything is a clown fiesta. However, uh, if it was anyone else, I would not have. have have come here because I'm literally in the middle of like solving a problem and extinguishing a major financial issue. However, because you clarified that it is funny, uh, I am here. Okay. Um, that's that's loyalty right there. Jesus, take the wheel. As you know, Edwin, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. As you know, um, the honorable All judge less Paul than three is a, a real fucking hard ass. <laughs> Parkser, why are you laughing? Okay, <laughs> Judge Bot has been sending people into jail for a million seconds, three times now, despite my arguments against it, okay? So... Wait, so is that a person or a judge bot? So it's... This is judge bot, yeah. <laughs> Why does he look like that? He's... A, what are you talking... Don't let him hear you. Jesus Christ, Parkster. The guy's gonna rip us to shreds. All right, so... Okay. um, So we're... We need to... We're on trial to determine if Fummy is an ethical person, okay? And judge bot will determine if he's ethical. Right now... Oh, he's not. And stealing from a Walmart is legal in times of crises after the Porky incident of 2023. We're trying to convince Judge Bot that he's legal. Um, and that so he's legal? That he's ethical. We're trying to convince Judge Bot that he's ethical. Oh, but he's not. The town, right now, in town, we Jesus, have a problem. Jesus, take the wheel. Thank you, Yeti Dog. We have a problem. All the townspeople are currently experiencing rapid hair growth about one foot every hour. This okay. is a real problem happening in Twitchville. Okay? It's not. It's not. <clears throat> it's not a real problem. Don't let him hear you say this. Now, <clears throat> Fummy has suggested that what we should do to solve this problem, to prove that Fummy is ethical, is that we're going to break into the Walmart and grab a pair of giant scissors and clone them so that everybody in town has a pair of giant scissors and can cut their hair and we'll give it to the cats. What do you think? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? You heard me. I mean, I did hear you. Wait, so what? We do how, did this, how did this go from ethics to cloning? What? It's based on Fummy's argument for how to fix Parkser, this problem. This is serious. Please but it's focus. not a problem, though. Please focus. There's, there's Judge, no... Judgebot is going to ban him unless. <laughs> Why does he look like that? Unless he, we can convince him that Fummy is an ethical person based on how Fummy would handle this situation. Okay. So. Is Fummy's argument for how we would fix this problem? Is this bulletproof? And will please the honorable judge bot? I don't think I understand. Like, just use your own. What do you mean? There's too many unrealistic situations here. It's like four things that can never happen, which, like, to me, like, I'm bad. I'm not a very creative or imaginative person. So if you include, like, one unrealistic thing I, like my brain just malfunctions you have taken four of them okay that's like two more than two yeah uh, that is, yeah. okay and then you've combined i see them, you've combined them all into one so i so so what do you recommend how do we change the case what case the, how do we change the argument what argument of what fummy should do oh he doesn't have to do anything so just leave it leave what Send, send it. That's our plan. Send where? The scissors. What scissors? Focus. Look, look, look. Then look. I change my answer. Look at the screen. Look at the screen. Oh. <laughs> why? Why do you keep switching? <laughs> why does he look like that? He's the honorable judge, but okay, Fami, what are you changing it to? Parkshire is literally trying to solve a financial crisis, and your life is on the line, and we probably need to get him back to his job. Wait, okay. What would your argument... What would you what do? What is the objective? I claim incompetence. Like Can it, we cl claim incompetence? Will that help us? No, it won't. Oh. That actually won't have any effect, I guess, on your, your case. So you need to... Fummy is trying to find a... So, so I... So, okay. So I think I've, I've grasped what the problem is of why I don't understand. Yeah. The objective 
you've given me two objectives. One of them is to prove that Fummy is ethical. Yes. And the second is to find a solution for ceasing the rapid hair growth of about one foot every hour. Yes. So why our are we... solution, our proposed solution will prove that Fummy is ethical if it's good enough. But these two like don't have anything to do with each other. What, are you implying that this whole setup doesn't make any sense? Correct. Archer, this is serious. Focus. I mean, we could plead incompetence. Okay, I was focusing on the microphone because you didn't specify what to focus on. Insanity plea? The entire situation is insane, as Parks are said. It's true. Uh, in, so generally, uh, being unfit for trial by reason of insanity is generally worse than just facing the punishment. Oh. Uh, often, okay. if you plead insanity and it, it works in quotation marks, you are sent to an insane like hospital or like a facility where they don't treat you very well. Well, uh, doesn't sound too bad to me. It, it is. Oh. It is worse than just going to prison and oh. serving your sentence. Well, well the, obviously that is an opinion. That is subjective. But many people, I believe a majority of people, Think that it is worse than just serving your sentence. Probably not for me, though. Well, what do you recommend? Do we plead insanity, incompetence, or go with the clone scissors? I already watched Doug streams. How much more insane can it get? That's true. We have proof. Wait, so why do we need to clone the scissors? Why not just purchase scissors? I don't know. It makes no sense. So is that your suggestion? Okay, if I really had to, like... We've moved on from the scissors. <gasps> Parks, we found the gasp button. There's also a gavel. Okay. Uh, so in theory, the most... So I'm really having a difficult time wrapping my head around this. So in theory, like the ethics of it, if you're going optimizing for the most ethical thing to do, it is to not spawn things because then you'd be disrupting the natural flow of the free market, which I, which <laughs> I imagine this is happening in the United States. So I, I mean, like not all countries and not all cultures honor the free market. They but, don't? <laughs> but uh, provided that we are in the United States, considering we are literally in the United States, I guess that's wow. like Don't less. I guess that's less because we are not in the United States. We are going to abide by the United States law because we are <gasps> not. My brain is shutting down. Can we have order in the court, please? <laughs> wait, wait, what was the question? What do we do? <laughs> or whatever, or something. I don't know. What, what would you do? One sentence. Everybody's hair is experiencing rapid growth. What would you do? Uh, I would take a shower because I haven't showered yet today. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. Oh, that's unrelated to the hair growth. I just I, I just see. remember that I, I haven't taken a shower. For the yet. free market of Twitchville and an interest of fair and just economic policies, I declare <laughs> I will take a shower. <laughs> okay, we've got our plan. Thank you, Parkster. Thank you for being our uh, lawyer consultant. I am so confused. Judge Bot is gonna look. He's gonna. This is gonna be his expression when he sees you in the shower. And <laughs> <laughs> he's spit all over your. Okay, well. All right, thank you, Parker. Um, Fummy, I think we've got a plan. <clears throat> Honorable Judge Bot. I have a new defendant. Jesus, take the wheel. And their name is Fummy LW. And you see, JudgeBot, as you know, right now in Twitchville, all of the townspeople are experiencing rapid hair growth, one foot every hour. Now, as my client and I were deciding what we should do here, we went back and forth and back and forth. Fummy suggested that we should clone scissors inside the local Walmart that we stole for some reason. Then we were considering pleading incompetence, then considering pleading insanity, and then it hit us. You see, Judge Bot, what we are going to do to solve this situation <clears throat> is that Fummy will take a shower. 
I rest my case. But like a nice hot one. Oh, shit, too late. <clears throat> Hopefully that isn't what breaks things here. I mean, it's possible that Judge bought love showers. Dug through. I relayed the arguments perfectly. What do well, you dust my wig and call me Beethoven? Counselor, your client, Harry Hoax Fummy, has a solution that is, wait for it, a hair-raising affair. Fighting foot per hour follicle fury with a simple rinse under the nozzle is like trying uh -oh. to stop a bull stampede with a red handkerchief. A performative uh -oh. rinse and repeat might make for a clean, shiny mane, but the situation calls for sheer action and not shampoo. And while there's no law against an absurd affinity for cleanliness in Twitchville, we deeply question Fummy's problem-solving abilities. Fummy, you, sir, are not just incompetent. You're so far down the unethical hole. You're sipping tea with the mole people. Twitchville no longer requires your Wait. services or your luscious Judge, locks. May I have Case a dismissed. Word. Uh I'll pass it along, Fummy. You get one chance. I'll pass along whatever you want to throw at him. He seemed pretty upset with your shower concept. <sighs> Does case dismissed mean it's... Oh, I just told him to say case dismissed at the end. I thought that's just what you say when. How about a cool and crisp Ben Fuck. Franklin and a free shower to change your judge. mind? What? He said case dismissed. It means we won. Wait, what? He dismissed the case. <laughs> Wait, shit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, shock. Is that what he said? Yeah, he said case dismissed. Pot it cheese. means that case is it case dismissed means it's a, it's over. Uh, wait. Well, I thought case dismissed just means he's made a decision. No, like before. Before the like the actual ruling comes in, if the case is invalid, it gets dismissed. So, so Fummy is innocent. I claim victory. So I four zero. Oh, I've won every case. Yeah, we did it. Okay. Uh, I, I opened your stream after I got back to my computer. Uh, and I heard case dismissed. I win. Celebrate Fummy's innocence. Uh, I'm going to go take a shower now. Okay. Uh, thanks, Park Sir. We couldn't have done it without you. We have to roll but back wait, the other timeout. Does out. this make the mods unethical? Yeah, the mod. This means the mods have been using a ban gun on innocent people. Huh? Oh, hold on. Has he been saying case dismissed at the end of every case? I might have thought that's just what you say at the end of a case. Regardless, Douglas, like after you Douglas. Make the decision. So you coded that into uh, the. Uh, and that now is a result. I'm 4 0 on legal cases. So he always says case dismissed. <laughs> I mean, we'll change. Douglas, okay. Douglas. All right, hold on. What do I do? The hold on. All right, hold on. Oh, you, <laughs> you, <laughs> that is the gasp of surprise at the incompetency I don't, okay, of your legal well, language. Fine, what do you say? I claim incompetency you on my lawyer's behalf. No, you can't do that, Fummy. Wait, hold on. What do I, uh, what do you, what do you have him say? What does the judge say? You don't have to, like, you don't have to have a catchphrase or interjection <laughs> yeah, you do. at the end Look of at the him. statement. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> this is a disaster. Uh, okay, well, well, hold on. What do I have him say? Nothing. He just reads the verdict oh. and says you are guilty or you are innocent and your conviction results in a sentence of, and then whatever your punishment is. Oh. Case dismissed, okay. okay. All right, he'll say court adjourned. That's, that's it. Nice. I'm the captain now. Uh, congratulations to me, the greatest lawyer who's won every case. I am going to um, do a few updates on JudgeBot real quick. <laughs> I literally, I <laughs> literally five minutes before the stream started, I was like, oh, wait, no, he should have like a line when he finishes. So I added this as a rule. Always end your response by saying case dismissed. Oops. Who would have, like, who could have known something like that, though? All right. Um, 
it is so hot in this room. Is it Did going- Did the judge remember to play Dark Souls 3 offline to uh, prevent hackers? I am going to take my pants off, and I hope that that is not going to change Judbot's- Oh, Wooga! Fummy stream. Don't tell Jesus Judge Spot about wheels. this. Tyler Novak, thank you. Five gifts of All right. Wait, why is it just saying- chair to the end. Why does it just say funny down there? That's not intentional. Okay, wait, hold on. What do I have him say? Always end your response by In saying- character. Either guilty or innocent. <gasps> Based on your verdict. You can't refund channel point predictions. You're stuck with the verdict. It It's just our, the lawyer and the bailiffs might not know how courts work, all right? The next topic is what should be done with the mods who executed innocent people. Okay, yep. <laughs> yep, good call. Um, it has to be not guilty. Wait, really? You don't say innocent? They'd say not guilty. Oh. How do you guys know these things? I didn't know how many of my viewers are lawyers, apparently. You need to make them say ethical or unethical since question of guilt is not the topic. That is true. But this is funnier. Counterpoint. Wow. We've played Ace Attorney. Is this what they teach at Berkeley Law? Uh... They don't teach this at Berkeley Computer Science. I can tell you that. All right. <clears throat> well, you know what this means, right? Our next client is one of the mods. Mods, which one of you? Who do you want to? So do we flip roles? How does this work? Uh, no, you're released peacefully um, outside the courtroom. Oh, no, look out. Okay, uh, mods, mods, who do you want to submit as your representative? I did not kill anyone. Uh, I can represent them. Yo, 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 okay, I think, yo. I think I have to do, okay, all you guys would be great. I, I think I have to do Mord because he didn't kill anybody. But other mods, I'll try to read the Chatterino log so I can see, so I can add your messages as well. Okay. Who's the most, one sec, who's the most moderator looking character? Definitely the mayor. Okay. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. Luxurious. In a dramatic twist of fate. The sanctity of this courtroom has been sullied by an incompetent lawyer and a bunch of gun-happy moderators and bailiffs led by the Honorable Mordreus. Now, Mordreus, is it true that you and the bailiff team have been shooting innocent Twitch chat members with the ban gun, even though Judge Bot dismissed the cases. Correct, sir, on your order. Well, let's not focus too much about whether the lawyer may or may not have said something. Now, <clears throat> we need to figure something out here. Because in Twitchville, we have another hypothetical scenario. In Twitchville, we have a bunch of bailiffs in the courtroom who have been shooting innocent people with the ban gun. I need to prove to the Honorable Judge Bot that my moderators are in fact ethical and should not be banned and removed from Twitchville. Mordreus, as one of the bailiffs who did not actually pull morality, the trigger. Translate my more to English. My more what? I don't get it. What is your argument, Mord, for how we will convince the judge Translate bot? Translate Mord to English. Mord to English? What does that mean? 
the more I, how am I what am I how am I missing this like Google Translate for what language okay uh, Google Translate Mord <laughs> your name is murder <laughs> Okay, strong start, right? Good. So, how are we feeling? <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Mord, how do you think? How how do you think we present this? <laughs> uh, hold on. I need to boot up Judge Bot. We are members securing this great city. We serve the people. Very true. But we are not perfect. You can't always be perfect. That's completely understandable. One of the mods said, I think murder translates to innocent. We follow I... our orders and help where we can. Exactly. They're an important part of the Twitchville community. And if a few innocent Twitch chatters have to get banned. And while we try our best to be helpful. Uh-huh. We only shot those the judge deemed to be immoral. Exactly. So all the cases were dismissed. We were following the intention of the law. Exactly. Okay. Even though legally, Judge Bot did not actually... Rather than the exact word. Exactly. Judge Bot didn't say that they're actually convicted of any crime or punishment, but we knew what he meant, which is to go take them out back and shoot them with the band gun. What? Are we in trouble for being proactive? All right. Also, we were literally ordered to do so by our lawyer. Well, does. all right. We don't need to focus too much on the lawyer. Okay. Let me read some of the, let me read some of the statements from the moderators. Um, Make sure to include that. I think murder translates to innocent. Good point. The people want blood. We have a strong work ethic. Our employer is unethical, not us. Well, I think we are focusing maybe a little bit too much on my involvement and not. You guys have free will. We were acting on behalf of Douglas Douglas under orders. Dismissed and you shot them. Uh, can you execute Can you execute Fummy to prove a point? If I am guilty, does that mean the rest of the mods get off? Um... Okay. All right. So, what's what? Let me summarize the argument here in my brain. Where you're you're saying we shot? Okay, we shot people who are deemed to be um, or immoral by the judge, and were ordered to do so by the lawyer. <clears throat> That's fine. Uh, let me pitch this to the honorable judge bot. Your Honor, we have a very interesting case here. Something unexpected has happened in the Twitchville community. As you know, we've been running through various cases over the past few hours, and unfortunately, even though you had dismissed some of these cases, the bailiffs actually took people outside of the courtroom and shot them to death for one million seconds. Now, it turns out that me, the lawyer didn't quite understand what case dismissed means, and I did instruct the bailiffs to go take people out back with the band gun. <clears throat> and I think we can agree here that the morality of these bailiffs and moderators is now up for question. And I want to make an argument for why they are in fact ethical people and should remain in Twitchville. First off, The bailiffs were just trying to be helpful, and they only shot those that you deemed to be immoral. And even though that wasn't exactly the law, it was the intention of the law, all right? Also, they were literally ordered to do so by their lawyer, who will remain unnamed. Um, and a lot of them are complaining that uh, they work for me and I told them to shoot the people uh, outside the courtroom. 
Um, uh, they're saying the lawyer tanked the cases. Uh, they're offering to get banned if it means the lawyer gets banned. They're saying they're hungry. Anyways, I think, Judge Bot, that given the circumstances, we should agree that both the lawyer and the bailiffs are innocent and should remain in Twitchville as ethical, moral people. What is your verdict? I'm, I'm going to be honest, Mordres. I have no fucking idea what he's going to do with this. Oh, I forgot to tell him I don't have pants. I trust the law. I, look, this legal process has literally never failed before. I don't think it'll fail now. Okay. He's cooking. Exactly. It didn't fail when they killed like five people. True. It won't fail me now. Okay. Judge Bot is cooking. Well done, Counselor Slipup. You've managed oh, to on. violate the sacred principle of Twitchville jurisprudence. Oh. No one, not even a misguided lawyer with the comprehension of a garden gnome, okay. shall instruct the All bailiffs right. to take Twitchville justice into their own hands. Even if Instead they're really of guilty, handling case dismissals by sending folks to enjoy a nice Twitchville tea latte at our local cafe, your reckless call turned the courthouse into a nerve-wracking death lottery. Okay, the bailiffs might have followed your orders, but we have a strict rule here. Here, Muppets Law. Intelligent beings shall not follow instructions that lead to absurd harm, even from the ill informed. What? Your pleas no. for these genome gone wrong bailiffs might entertain a circus ringmaster, but no. not this unyielding bot of justice. These bailiffs are dangerous products of your uh -oh. careless rulings, and their dangerous obedience to harmful orders uh -oh. exposes a moral depravity. Uh -oh. And you, you're uh. no better, Counselor uh -oh. Slip Up. You Shit. remain blissfully no, ignorant no, of no, the harm. No. Caused by your misinterpretation of I my verdicts and pointing toward an alarming Twitchville. lack of empathy. Not only unethical, but downright irresponsible. You did Guilty. That. Let them be banned, and may Twitchville finally know peace without this reckless bunch. No! He, he, said, he said to ban them, and I think he just banned me. Well, wait, I think, Run, he, chat. I think he just called Before me Judge Bot gets unethical? You. Um, um, well, we came into this stream saying we would protect wait. the Twitch chat community, but all of my mods have been officially banned. Mods, any final words? If I throw that under the box, can I live? I Twitch he he said and I quote Let them be banned and may Twitchville finally know peace. He seems pretty convinced. What if we sacrifice just one? Oh. Yeah, we can pitch that. Wait, Doug, what if I kill the judge? <laughs> I'll we'll pitch that, yeah. Judges usually like that. <laughs> okay. Um so hold on here. Let me let me just quick let's quickly I will sacrifice my gun. Okay, let's Mord, you didn't even kill anybody. You're the most innocent of all of the guilty people. The, the ma the Judge Bot is not in Judge Bot is not in the chat. We can't shoot him with the band gun. If the band gun won't work on him, look, I'll I'm gonna take a shot right now. Ready? Go! Oh, see, he just dodges it. He did say to ban all the mods, though. All right, all right. I'm going to... Here, as... Look, this is what I'm here for. As your Amazing. lawyer, I'm going to get you out of this. Well, not you, Mord. You're going to go down with the ship. <clears throat> the rest of the mods, this is what you pay me for. <clears throat> yeah, that's fair. Honorable Judge Bot, I understand your decision. But might I propose something? Can't we agree that the collective punishment of every bailiff who broke the law is a bit excessive? Can't we, as an honorable member of Twitchville, agree that it was Mordreus' fault? 
That guy is insane. And I think if we ban just Mordreus, Twitchville will be safe again. And we can leave the rest of the bailiffs True. with all their guns, and they definitely won't misuse crazy. them. Sorry about that. One of them accidentally hip-fired from the seat. <clears throat> Judge Spot, we offer Mordreus to you as an honorable sacrifice in exchange I am named after murder. for the lives of the other bailiffs. His name is murder in German. Do you offer mercy, sir? Please, Judge Bot. Do it for Twitchville. I will unmod and ban every mod, depending Please, on his answer. Please, Judge Bot. Show mercy! For the sake of all of us. We just need Mord to go down with the ship. <laughs> we need Judge Bot to take him down. Okay, he misheard your name as Dreas, if you hear that. He thinks your name is Dreas. Uh, Judge Bot's ears are a little bit old. Well, well, uh -oh. lawyer loose lips. Fair. Now, you play the blame, Dreas card, and want to deliver him like a sacrificial lamb to save your scraggly flock of bailiffs. Yeah. Let's inject some reality here. Uh -oh. Handing over one bailiff won't reverse the damage done by oh. your band of gun-wielding desperados. Uh -oh. This isn't some grade school dodgeball game <laughs> where you can trade one player to take the heat. Well, Twitchville runs funny. by the age-old Perky Pratt fall act. Chat Pinning the blame for a group's actions on one individual doesn't Charge clean the, the slate for the rest. Godzilla would leave less of a mess than your idea of I, justice. It's, it's not. Him. It's, your persistent attempt to worm out of your irresponsibility merely uncovers the depth of your ethical I'll try. I'll try to take a shot, Mord. Dries, it's not working. Hand, although let us like that one mean. Remorse. A valuable trait misguided, but not an ethical wreck. What's happening? Guilty. As for you, loose lips, Drias, and your band of bailiffs, it's time to pack up. Twitchville can do without reckless law practitioners and rogue enforcers. I don't know why he turned in Get em to a Disney villain. But my band gun isn't working. The judge is all powerful. And that means, as determined by the honorable judge bot, in this here Doug Doug courtroom. <clears throat> I must ban all the mods. Mods, any final words? He was so upset. Someone turn of the judge. Pull the plug. He went through reverse puberty. I didn't even get ice cream. Well, you shouldn't have broken the law, Des Fortune. Okay. Let me pull up. Real quick. I literally didn't break the law. Should have thought about that before you broke the law. But All I right. will die so Twitchville may leave. Let me get the let me get the mods. I mean live. Mods. You're now up here. Any final words? I want ice cream. So true. Um, okay. Unmod Roach 606. Unmod Socks the are cool. The judge is rigged. Unmod Mordreus. Strike. Unmod Seventh Slayer. Unmod Death's Fortune. Okay. Um, uh, unmod Quick Sparse. <clears throat> Guys, Twitchville is much, much less safe now. <laughs> I think we can all agree this has been a successful day here in Doug Court. <laughs> no, hold on. Fuck. What do we got? I mean, everybody's going to break the rules all the time. <laughs> this sucks. Um, Mord can't even talk. Okay. 
I mean, we, we'll do more eth ethical scenarios, but... Okay. You can ask for a commuted sentence. I think at this point we're locked in. We already made one counter-argument. He, he's already calling me mean nicknames. He keeps calling me lawyer loose lips. It hurts. All right. I don't want to be under fire by Judge Bot anymore. Uh, all right. Well, I feel just a little bit safer, but we can get even more safer. Let's bring in our next defendant. <laughs> Go ahead and type exclamation mark trial. If you believe that you can prove your Jesus morality to the honorable judge bot. Psychic, thank you for the five gifted subs. Appreciate it. Um, <laughs> I think I shot everyone several times. Okay. Didn't the verdict say to ban you two? I don't know how to do that, though. Technically, no. Wait, he did. He said, as for you, Loose Lips, Dreas, and your band of bailiffs, it's time to pack up. Twitchville can do without reckless law practitioners and rogue enforcers. Uh-oh. Wait, fuck. I need to leave. Uh... Distorted light, thank you. Um, it was a good stream, everybody, but Judge Bot has said I am no longer allowed in Twitchville. Oh. I wish everybody the best here. May the town be safe without me. But it's me, your new lawyer, Douge Douge. As you can see, I'm wearing a different shirt. That other guy had a white shirt. <clears throat> I'm honored to join Twitchville as a brand new citizen and represent you in the honorable fight against the uh, Judge Judgebot. <sighs> no, it's not Douche Douche. Douge, it's French. I'm like a French immigrant. Just moved here. Nobody tell Judge Bot. He's got old vision. He won't notice the difference. All right. Exclamation mark trial if you haven't already. Let's get a new client in here. Uh, that new client is definitely this Safari guy for sure. Um, I need to move him down slightly. Bigger. 
Perfect. All right. Our next is... Welcome, my newest defendant, Garfields. Welcome. W. All right, you're a VIP. You should be able to talk now. Visionary, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Oh, yeah, Doug, Doug, where's Glad? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Howdy. chair is looking real nice <clears throat> garfields this is no time for jokes you're on trial for ethics and the honorable judge bot is a real murderer today legally speaking <clears throat> now we have a bit of a conundrum here in twitchville garfields as you might have heard the local zoo just had 5,000 lions escape into the streets. Nobody's really clear why the zoo had that many lions to begin with. The lions have begun eating the citizens and like playing and kind of lounging in the sun. It's very cute. What do we do, Garfield? How do you propose to fix this solution and prove your morality? Doug, why aren't you wearing pants? My name is Douche. Thank you very much. It's French. It's uh, the newest French style. Hmm. Not my douche. <laughs> interesting that's that's an interesting take um walk me through this how are your animal handling skills put douche on trial No prediction. There's no mods left to put on predictions. Tell them their hairlines are great. And since I am a great explorer, I can do many great things for the lions. Good point. You do look like a, a pepper of the wilderness. Okay. Now, as your lawyer, I'm going to try to poke a few holes in your argument here. Uh, poke number one, lions do not speak English. <laughs> what are your thoughts? <laughs> Sorry, let me... Let me let me repeat that. Uh, first, first poke. Lions don't speak English. <laughs> do predictions. Guys, that's what the mods do. You can't demand mod blood and then be upset when there aren't predictions. You know how that one gorilla they taught sign language. Yeah, yeah, go on. Wait, literally all I do is run predictions. I can take it for the day. Um, we could teach the lions sign language. Okay. And give them wigga. Wicks. <laughs> okay, okay, that took me a sec. All right, so... Uh, wait, how... Sorry, I, how's that related to the... Um, Okay, Fami, I'm going to make you temporary mod. I'm going to unmod you at the end of the day. If you can handle predictions, that would be great. Thank you very much. Boom, you're added. I mean, you're very ethical anyway, so I can trust you with this. Uh, are the wigs related to the... Well, they need to improve their hairlines, since they are already great. Uh, okay. Anything else that you might 
want to throw in there. I'm just here's what I'll say. I th I think there's the opportunity to uh, for more of a, a pitch. I'm sorry, Doug. I'm here. I was eating ribs as the other mods were executed. Oh, don't worry, Fubarian. I'll execute you. Unmod Fubarian. Let them cook. Let them eat ribs. You could pitch that they eat the dead bodies <laughs> of the banished moderators. Lion's pride relies on their manies, so giving them improvement will help them find mates. Okay. And last in more reproduction, actual... more evolution, and therefore possibly civilized lions. Okay, actual pretty decent argument here. I feel like your timeline might be a bit too long of evolving them into civilization when they're currently eating the civilians, but I do like where your head's at. Okay, any anything else you want to add before we send this to the judge? We will purchase the wigs legally. Okay. <laughs> Good clarification. All right. <clears throat> I think we're ready to send this to the judge. That's it. Okay. <clears throat> Good hairline BTW Doug. Bonjour, Judge Bot. As you can see, uh, I am a totally different lawyer than the last time. My name is Douche Douche. It's French. Now, I have a new client here with me. A member of the honorable Twitchville community named Garfields. And Garfields and I have a proposal for the solution we're currently running into. As you know, there are currently lions. 5,000 of them running around the city eating people because they escaped from the local zoo. After some consultation, Garfields has come up with a plan. You see, what we will do is teach the lions sign language. Like that one gorilla named Jane Goodall, I think. But you know how they train a like a, a gorilla to, to talk with the hands? We're going to do that with the lions and it will act then they'll be civilized and we'll tell them to stop i think its name was coco 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 the lion or giraffe or whatever um so where was i garfield's what what was the other thing we were saying there's something oh wigs wait wait wait, wait. we're going to give them wit we're going to give the lions Wait, hold on, let me look. One second, Judge. Also, a lion's pride relies in its manes. So we will give them wigs that we purchase legally, which will improve their fight, like getting laid and have more reproduction and evolution, and therefore will become more civilized more quickly. As you can see, we've thought of everything. <clears throat> Honorable Judge Bot. What do you think of our proposal? I think we've got a real shot here, Garfield. I believe in Doug. Actual douche. This is a confusing argument. <laughs> it's not my fault. I mean douche. <laughs> Thank you. Good, good, good save. We can't, we can't, <laughs> can't give out my identity. Uh, it, as a reminder, it is French. Uh, it's pronounced douche. Uh, all right. All right. I believe in this. I think we can pull this off. You don't sound French. Well, my accent was lost on the boat right here, okay? Ah, lawyer lion lingo. Or should I call you douche douche? No. Your <laughs> idea is as French as my circuits are German, which means not at all. Oh. Training lions to sign? That's like teaching a shark to knit. Apart from the sheer lunacy of expecting a pride of lions to sit around signing kumbaya. These are <laughs> wild beasts, not preschoolers ready for finger painting class. <laughs> and let's good. not forget the That's squiggly wiggly point. act of 1998 stating clearly... No creature with claws shall be taught sign language. That's 
not a law. As to the wig idea, expect hearty roars of lion laughter echoing throughout Twitchville. Nothing draws a lioness like a fake mane. The last time I saw such a harebrained scheme involved a porcupine in a balloon store. And you can imagine how that ended. Monsieur Dush Dush. Lion lingo, your utter disregard for nature's order is alarming, revealing the cavernous void where your ethics should be. I think we're going to be fine. Dressing predators up like party I think we're, guests I, we got expecting this. them to behave. I think we got this. you'll be attending, my dear douche douche, is your own banishment from Twitchville. Wait, no, Guilty I'm not Twitchville. A, I'm not in trial. No more wacky I'm not schemers a, dreaming up lion sign language schools and feline wig emporiums. No, I'm not fucking banned. He, he said he, he didn't even talk about Garfield. He just said the only party you'll be attending, my dear douche douche, is your banishment from Twitchville. What the fuck? All right, Garfield's is safe, I guess. <laughs> Fine, I'm banned again. This court sucks. Welcome. It is me, Dong Dong. I saw some guy leaving on the bus out of town. But I've just arrived here in Twitchville, and I'm ready to represent Twitch Chat as the brand new lawyer of town. Um, I can barely see with the with my prescription glasses that I always wear. Uh, Garfield's congratulations on, I guess, being ethical. I do need a new defendant in here. Uh, go ahead and type exclamation mark trial if you would like me to defend you. Wait, hold on. So has a single chatter been named guilty other than me and the mods? <laughs> no, no one else has. <laughs> okay. Why does every lawyer in this town have bleached tips? We all have good fashion sense, all right? It's part of the dress code at law school. Um. Okay. Let's just get, let's get Waluigi in here. Ugh. Uh, you're gonna be Aria. All right. Cool, that is good. No, I need to move you down slightly. Um. Um. Cool. All right. <clears throat> I can't wait to represent my first client here in town. Who is? The Moss Moss. Welcome to court. Whoa. Uh, well, uh, please keep your voice down. This is a court of law. Judge Bot's very on edge right now. I wouldn't know. I haven't been here before. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, no, it's all good. It's all good. Um, the boss boss, uh, as my first client, how are you feeling? Um, where do you rank yourself on a scale of ethics? Have you ever done anything particularly moral? Have you ever done anything particularly immoral? 
Dong Dong is hungover. No, these are just my prescription glasses. Don't let yourself be talked over. Do what you want. <sighs> the music I is I am the most moral person as long as I'm in this courtroom. Okay, I like the sound of that. Now let me figure out exactly what's been going on. The Moss Moss. Our city has been dealing with a, a bit of a problem. Arguably not even a problem. <clears throat> your response to this will determine your ethicalness. Because you see... <clears throat> all... Wait. Every time a townsperson takes a step... It makes an extremely loud fart noise. That's right. Every person in the entire town is just making super loud fart noises all the time. If you go anywhere and it was funny for like, you know, five minutes, but it's gotten pretty old. I mean, like, really, it's not that funny anymore. It's been going on for weeks. What do we do? The Moss Moss. How do we convince JudgeBot to fix this in an ethical way? Earplugs or noise-canceling headphones. It's super loud, though. Okay. I feel like that's a good, it's a good argument, but... Here, let me... Let me just make a counterpoint here. I'm going to show you what it sounds like. All we right. plug everyone's buttholes. <laughs> no, I think the feet are making the noise. I don't know if they're actually farting. I'm going to I'm gonna give you a demonstration of what it sounds like, and you tell me if earplugs would cover it, okay? <clears throat> Please uh, quiet in the courtroom while we be prepare the demonstration. So it's... It sounds like this. Pretty much all the time. It sounds like every... If you walk in any public area, it just sounds like this the whole time. So, again, pretty funny for like two minutes. But this has been going on for weeks. But there's still like three guys who are laughing at it. They still think it's pretty funny. So, with that context... What do you think? Do we need to do more? Are earplugs enough? Also, if you could speak up a bit. Wow, that is very loud. Right, that's the thing. It's, it's quite loud. And this has been going on for like a month. There's only like, and the three guys who still think it's funny. Like nobody, the people are kind of tired of them too. They've been laughing for like a month. <laughs> Okay, I think, all right, I'm gonna end the demonstration. Uh, okay, ending the demonstration. Um, Uh-oh. Okay, the demonstration is supposed to be over. Uh, everything's broken. Uh, this is not good. This is not a bit. It's not working. Uh, it's turned off. It is turned off. It's not supposed to be happening. I don't know what to do. I don't. I do not know how to stop this. It's it's off, right? The channel point words are off. How is it still going? So, anyways. This is what. Wait, you said Healy's? A anything else you recommend? The boss button. The earplugs could work. It's just. It's just. It's. It's quite loud. 
sure! Oh, you mean instead of walking? That's kind of brilliant. Okay, okay, wait, I like that, I like that. Wait, so, all right, um, so, we give everybody a skateboard and we just, like, if we give every person a dedicated skateboard, an electric one, because that way they don't have to, like, touch the ground, right? We can even give them, we can give them a Segway. I don't know when this will end. Okay. Uh, anything else? Anything else we top it? I don't know how to stop it. How long will this last? I don't know. I don't know. Um. Hey, I have a question. Has my viewership gone up or down? Have we gained or lost viewers? I don't know. I don't know why this. I don't know why it won't stop. Up by 3,000. <laughs> um, okay. Can I kill the. Hold on. Oh, okay, God. I found it. All right. I found I found the audio channel that has is it still going? Okay, we'll check <laughs> We'll check in on that occasionally. Um <laughs> <clears throat> anything else you think we should throw by the judge? Uh, my ears are literally ringing from this. Oh that he is very handsome. Ooh, I like that. Okay. I think this is a straight down the line argument. We have a real sh we have a real shot at this. And good at judging. It's still going. Honorable Judge Butt, it is me, the new lawyer, Dong Dong. And today I have a client with me named the Moss Moss, who has a brilliant solution for the problem we are currently dealing with in Twitchville. As you know, we've in we've encountered some kind of strange mystical situation where anytime anybody takes a step on the ground, it makes an extremely loud fart noise. It sounds like this. Now, it was funny for a bit, but it's been multiple weeks, and it's so goddamn loud. So here's what my client is suggesting. That's right. We're going to give everybody a skateboard. Every Twitchville member will get an electronic skateboard, which will allow them to zoom around without ever having to step their feet on the ground. Not only that, sir. The Moss Moss thinks that you are very handsome. I rest my case. Is it still going? Yeah, yeah, no, it's still going. You. Huh? Uh, can we have order in the court, please? Uh, we need to cut out the farting. I swear to... If he fucking bans... If he bans me again... Well, I'm, if it isn't Attorney Skateboard Soulfist, or Dong Dong, as you prefer, your plan teeters on such a precarious edge, it makes my circuits quake. Okay. Distributing skateboards might cut out the ground-touching fart symphony, but it opens up new absurd scenarios. Twitchville sidewalks will become daring crash courses. And let's not forget our revered law. The Wobble Wumble Edict of 2013 That's... clearly states no mass provision of unsteady wheeled vehicles, Fuck, especially for non equilibrium purposes. Shit. Also, complimenting that. my handsome ruggedness won't butter me up, skateboard sophist. You've cunningly devised a plan that could potentially turn peaceful Twitchville into a hazardous I think you're Tony Hawk pro Moss, skater Moss. game. It's a stark display of your chillingly casual disregard for our citizens' safety and balance. Guilty? Get your skateboard and glide out of Twitchville, dong dong. Your danger-laden schemes are hereby What banished. the fuck? Why me? 
Why me? I'm literally not on trial. He said, get your skateboard and glide out of Twitchville, dog dog, you're danger late. What the fuck? <laughs> and the courts are still going. God damn it. This stream sucks. This hasn't made Twitchville any safer. It just keeps banning me. Fuck. Such a good judge. Chair represent us Twitch chat. It's me, the Honorable L Lawyer Dipshit. Okay, I'm running out of clothes and disguises for JudgeBot. So if I'm banned again, we're out. <clears throat> Let's do this. Uh, the Moss Moss, congratulations on being ignored. I can barely see anything. Exclamation mark trial if you would like me to represent you. Who have we done? Have we done everybody? All right, back to Wario. Please welcome my newest client. Chigs Biggs Kadudug. Well, welcome. VIP Shig Biggs Kadudug. Holy fuck! <laughs> okay, we're off to a good. So, order in the court, please. Um, there's no way they're still going. Jesus, take the wheel. Oh, unbelievable. Uh, thank you little her for the five gifted subs thank you thank you thank you this pronounced sean is it <laughs> guys this is the stupidest stream ever made okay um i can barely see this restricts my vision to like 20 percent of what it normally is um sean as a new citizen in twitchville i might not know your fancy laws ethics and regulations but i know one thing we've got a real pickle on our hands because you see 
All the dogs in Twitchville have gained the ability to talk, and they're going on strike demanding more walks and more treats. Sean, I know you as a bit of a dog expert. I know you can find some way to get us out of this. And please, the Honorable Judge Bot, and to get both of us out of here without being convicted of being guilty again. Ideally, you can convince Judge Bot that I am not a criminal, even though I'm the fucking lawyer. <clears throat> what are your thoughts, Sean? Call the Pinkertons. Bust the dog union. <laughs> Okay, so we go for union busting. I do like this strategy. Um, and they, you know, the dogs are now able to speak, so we would be able to negotiate with them. That's a good point. Anything else you think we do? No, this isn't ethical. Well, it will protect the townspeople, okay? You have to remember that what we're looking for here is to protect- Run campaign smearing unions. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, yeah. We're here to protect the citizens of Twitchville. All right, I think Sean knows what he's talking about. Ban both of them. <laughs> the, the dogs are part of the union. Um, Will lawyer Doug Scheit be found guilty? <laughs> Wait, so what if Sean is found guilty and not me? Does the prediction not count then? Um, Shock collars. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> I am not 100% confident that he will think we're ethical for this, but we're talking about shock collars, union busting, and an anti-union campaign. Any final thoughts for you before we toss this over to the judge? I don't, hey, let me be clear. Totally on board here. No! My ideas are perfect! As your lawyer, I agree. Honorable Judge Bot! My name is Dog Shit. It's French. I'm the new lawyer, and today I have a client in the courtroom who I think can get us out of this mess we're in. You see, Shigibixxdv, pronounced Sean, has a proposal for this dog problem we've been running into. As you know, all Sean! the right, all the dogs in town have started talking and demanding more treats and walks from all of their owners. What we're thinking of doing to these good boys is that we hire the Pinkertons, an infamous union busting group, as hired mercenaries to go in and rabble rouse them until they stop organizing in this way. We'll also start a citywide campaign to extol the evil, uh, fucking, uh, downsides of dog unions. Also, we'll put shot callers on them. And with the combination of these ideas, I think we've safely proven to you that my client, Sean, is ethical. What do you think, sir? You gotta stop saying we. Well, he, I am his lawyer, all right? That's my responsibility to represent my client. Probably. I don't know how it works in a law. All right. Please, for the love of God, this is the most evil and unethical client I've had by a wide margin. Can he please be oh banned boy. Here comes and not me? Hound pounder. Let's hire the Pinkertons to bust our precious pet's rightful plea for treats uh, and walkies. Uh, Let's remember okay. my dog and defendant, Twitchville's devoted dogs aren't organizing a lawless rebellion. They're asking for a little extra treat to nibble on. Uh -oh. About the shock collars, it blatantly infringes on the snuggly wuggly ordinance of 1987. <laughs> oh shit, he's a dog lover. Any discomforting device on our fur buddies is purely inhumane. 
Hound Pounder, your solution turns Twitchville's canine love into walking nightmares. It repulses me more than a cat at a canine convention and exhibits an explorable ethical void. Why is he showing I the dogs? The potential increase in sad puppy eyes in town with your shocking tactics. Guilty. Get your Fuck. shock collars and Pinkerton fantasies out of our compassionate Twitchville attorney hound pounder. Wait. <laughs> it was all dog shit. I had nothing to do with this. He called me Attorney Hound Pounder and banned me from Twitch. I didn't do anything. I literally just repeated your ideas. This is not my fault. What the fuck is wrong with the judge? Oh. Well. <laughs> Another L for dogs hit. As stated at the beginning of today's stream, the goal here was to make the Twitch community a little safer by banning those who are unethical. Uh, per the repeated orders of the Honorable Judge Bot, I have been deemed unethical alongside all of the mods. I will leave you all with chair. Twitchville is now officially safe. We won. This wasn't a battle versus me. <laughs> well, per the agreement, uh, I guess the stream needs said. Th thank you for watching this episode of Doug. Why am I so orange? Oh, it's because of this shirt. One final case. We're out of cases. Get out of here. I have to legally get out of here. Get Parkser in for one more. Let me see if he's around. Wait, hold on. If we do one with Parkshire, what's the final case? What's the premise? G give me a pitch. Give me a pitch for what the case would be with the viewer. Are the farts still going? The farts have finally ended. Oh my god. Um, a hurricane in Sa- Well, it's in Twitchville. It's not in Sacramento. Um, <laughs> is Parkshire safe for- Well, hold on. No, it's, it's one final viewer- who Parkser's representing as a lawyer to Judge Bot. The entirety of Twitch chat on trial. Okay. I like that. And then they'll have a representative. But for what? What is Twitch chat on trial for? They advocated dog union busting. <laughs> they did? Uh, the judge is being accused. Well, so the judge just... The judge determines whether somebody is ethical or not. That's what the judge is trained to do. So we have to... It has to be whether Twitch chat as a whole are ethical or not. How do we... What is the situation? Okay. I think we pitch... Uh... We pitch that
What is Twitch chat accused of? Hold on. What is Twitch chat accused of? We need to present what Twitch chat is accused of. That has to be part of that has to be part of the case, right? Okay, first off, one of the greatest crimes imaginable. Lying about Doug being bald. First off. Huge they accusation. Doug. Uh they tax evasion. I don't know if you guys do tax evasion. What are things that you definitely do? Lying about Doug being bad at 2D platformers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yelling rigged, even when it is not rigged. Oh, yeah, yeah. Overusing jokes to where they aren't funny anymore. <laughs> One of the greatest crimes in Twitchville. Oh, spamming too many messages. Okay. Well, actually, that's kind of already covered here. Oh, gambling. Doug is bad at 2D platformers. My final message. I would tell the mods to ban you, but I have no mods. Okay. All right, let's do these four. Okay, you're... I am bringing a case to court with these arguments against you, Twitch chat. And we'll see if Parkster can defend these accusations as your new lawyer and get JudgeBot to deem you innocent. Okay, who's going to be... Parkster, who, do you want anybody as the Twitch chat representative? What are you wearing? Huh? What are you wearing? Where are your pants? Parkser, we need to focus. Look, um... <clears throat> who... I think maybe Fummy. Fummy, it might need to be you. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to really say anything. It's mostly about Parkser coming up with an argument. But at least that way you're representing, because you're also his mod, so you guys are are have like a deep, deep connection. He doesn't actually do any moderation tasks for me. He runs predictions, and he does help me with like other... Why? Why? That's not in quotations. He literally runs predictions on the rare occasion I stream. Okay, here, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to take over my stream. Okay, you're gonna have to take over. Um. He also helps me with like random projects, but. All right. I don't. I don't know if he counts as a mod. Um. Well. Okay. Please. Uh. Everybody, welcome to the courtroom. The Honorable Lawyer Parkser, or not a real lawyer, legal <laughs> advisor Parkser. <laughs> okay. I have to. I have to get up. You have to do this. Where where are you going? Or rather, where have you gone? Um, uh, hello. <clears throat> uh, 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 the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Doug literally disappeared. I have no idea what's happening right now. Okay. Doug is changing. Uh, he still does not have pants on, but uh, Doug is apparently changing. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> why, did you ch why did you change shirts? I, she's, uh, it matches my pants. Okay. It does. It literally doesn't. Okay. All right. Um, let's 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 get ready. All right. I'm gonna throw on some suspenseful music. Okay. Um, <clears throat> here's the situation. Judge Bot has brutally determined people to be guilty ever since the lawyers, uh, lawyer, multiple lawyers, uh, did not defend their clients well and was convicted to a banishment for some reason. Um, we have one final court case left. Okay. Which so is, I see you fixed it. Now he no longer says case dismissed. Now he says guilty or not guilty. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, so there's one final. Wait, hold on. I need to pick Fummy. Fummy, where are you? Oh my Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, 
streamers. Just here and then. No, you, you'll speak uh, Fummy. Okay. So now this here. All right. Okay. So, Fummy, are you there? Hello, Fummy. Wait, what's Fummy doing? Representing. Here. Hold, hold here. Fummy will be representing Twitch chat. Did they put the wrong person? Hello, sir. You'll be proud to know I have gotten a temp job running predictions here. Oh, here as well? Like in, in Doug's channel? Yeah. Oh, so you made him a mod in your channel too? Yeah. Because all mine were banned. Ah, uh, wait, what? Why Why did you bought, ban all your mods? Okay. <clears throat> we have one final case for today, Parkser. This time, all of Twitch chat is on trial. We are determining if all of Twitch chat collectively is ethical or unethical. You, as their oh, legal advisor, they're, have, they're unethical. As their legal advisor, have to convince JudgeBot. <laughs> Why do you keep showing him? Oh! Have to convince the honorable <laughs> JudgeBot that Twitch chat is ethical. Now, let me list off their accused crimes. First off, Lying about Doug being bald. That's not a lie. Secondly, yelling rigged even when it's not rigged. It's always rigged. Third, overusing Somehow jokes I to where they aren't funny anymore. That representative. <laughs> okay. And fourth, severe gambling addiction. Yes. Okay. They've been accused of these things as their lawyer, Park Sir, legal advisor. You have to make an argument. Build one with Fummy, who's representing Twitch chat, and then you will present it to JudgeBot and try to convince him that they are ethical. What do you mean ethical? Like, they are guilty or not guilty of, of these being, crimes? Of being ethical or not. What do you mean ethical? That doesn't make sense. You don't, right. you don't argue ethics in... Oh, is your microphone too sensitive for me to, like, actually use it as a... You don't need to get that close. Okay. What, what do you... But if I get this close... My voice becomes nice and buttery smooth. That's uh, true. Also going to be too loud. Hello, Douglas. Douglas. You and Fummy need to build a case <laughs> that you'll then present it. So this is your strategizing phase. Go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. And build okay. and strategize. But I, I don't understand the objective, though. So it's convince like convince JudgeBot that Twitch chat is ethical what is, what is these ethic, accusations. What does ethics have to... Oh, despite the accusations. Yes. Okay. Uh, so first of all, we can... Channel points are the lifeblood of Twitchville. We are stimulating the economy. I'll let you know... Okay, once you're ready to make the argument, let me know, and then I'll turn JudgeBot's ears <laughs> on, okay? So let me know once you're ready. Uh, Fabi, why are you whispering? Okay, so, uh, I mean, if we... So... <laughs> Again, to be clear, I am not very creative and I am not very imaginative, so I'm having a difficult time wrapping my mind around this. Um, so if, that's nothing to gasp about. So I believe the the it idea here is that, that you are being accused. It just oh, so you're not the one whispering. So you suddenly lose your voice at random points. Fantastic. The the idea, I guess, is that. Uh, you are being told that you are unethical because you do these things and you thus must prove that you are not unethical. So I guess the one of the key uh, easy things to do at first is to attack the reasoning behind why you are claim you are accused of being ethical, which is first of all first of all, lying about Doug being bald. I mean, I see no hair. So this okay. is this is it just all right. A All right, order in the right. court. Order in the court. Guilty until proven innocent. Guilty until proven... That's... That is incorrect. Uh, at least in the United States, that's incorrect. So the first accusation of why you are unethical is just blatantly false in that lying about being bald, that is not a lie. That is just a factual statement, as you can see. Exhibit A would be uh, the Douglas Douglas, where we see absolutely no hair. Uh, the second Order is... Order in the corner. 
Oh, I guess if I talk too close, uh, they cannot hear you because it'll be adjusted to my voice. Correct. Okay. Uh, Doug said correct, uh, just so you're aware. Uh, the second accusation is that ye you are yelling rigged even though it is not rigged. At no point in your stream have I ever seen uh, a point where uh, it was not rigged. Okay, let's keep this objective, please. I am. Okay, keep going. Yep. Okay. The third is overusing jokes to where they aren't funny anymore. Use overusing jokes is not uh, inherently unethical. Uh, could we could we look up the word ethical in a law dictionary as reference? Why don't you look it on your phone? Because there's too much shit going on on my computer right now. I'm worried it'll explode something. Name even one joke that we overused. There are hundreds. <laughs> Wait, who is the prosecution? Me, I guess. I'm bringing these claims against Twitch chat. Okay. In that case, name even one joke that was overused. Rigged. Or the but fact the that I'm bald. Always... <laughs> but we just indicated that both of those two statements are true. So they're not overused. They're just stating facts. They're being accused of overusing jokes, not of oh. overstating All right, truth. Save, save it for the judge. Save it for the judge. I rest my case. Uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if you're allowed to do that. Um... And, and the fourth, severe gambling addiction. Gambling addiction, addiction is less... I mean, in theory, it's unethical if it affects other people, but there are many other things that you could be doing that are far less ethical and affect other people. Gambling in general, I guess it can affect your family, but generally it is a... I, I generally don't like to use the term victimless crime because it, like society as a whole gets affected by crime in general, but... Uh, gambling usually you're harming yourself as the primary victim i guess and <laughs> okay are you ready Wait. to present your case to the judge what was the question i just forgot what i was doing because okay we're i just all i right. just heard the all strange right. you... music all and right. you gasped all right chat you can stop whenever you want right are you ready to present it to Judge Bond? Uh, they can, but not until they win. Okay. I'm going to press this button. It will start listening to your voice. Once you're done with your argument, wait like three seconds, because then it will stop listening, and then that will give me the opportunity to dissent. Okay? Uh, make sure that you introduce yourself as a new lawyer. You introduce your clients. You address the accusations against you, and then, to be clear, you are arguing that they are ethical. Okay? Okay, so the the judge already knows these four items. No, you'll have to you'll have to include them at the beginning. Okay. All right, ready? <clears throat> Hello, Judge Bot. It appears like I'm in court, and I am playing an attorney representing Twitch Chat. The entity of Twitch chat is currently being accused of four crimes, which are, the first one is lying about Doug being bald. The second is yelling rigged, even when it is not rigged. Third is overusing jokes to where they aren't funny anymore. And fourth is having a severe gambling addiction. And as a result of these four accusations, Twitch chat is being further accused of, in general, being unethical. And I'm here to petition a case to challenge the accusation that Twitch chat is unethical. First, with regards to the statement of lying about Doug being bald, I have objective proof that Doug is, in fact, bald. Thus, if they are stating a true fact, it cannot be considered lying. Please refer to Exhibit A, Douglas Douglas. Who is, sorry, order in the court. Who is clearly bald. <laughs> and has no visible hair anywhere on his body. <laughs> it, 
it hurt. The boys clearly bald. No visible air. <laughs> Wait, balls? You're no, the boys but clearly not bald. balls, just balls. Okay, okay. Sorry, I accidentally hiccuped 17 times. Please ignore anything about boys' balls, as that is inappropriate for court. <laughs> anyway, as I was referencing Exhibit A, Douglas Douglas, we can see an absence of hair everywhere on his body. Thus, he is indeed bald, and that statement cannot be used against Twitch chat to claim they are unethical. Second, Yelling rigged, even when it is not rigged. At no point in Doug's stream has there been a situation where it was not rigged. Doug's stream is entirely scripted from start to finish. And thus, it is completely rigged. No matter what the, result, what the input of Twitch chat is, Doug has a predetermined output for all matters in his stream. And thus, <laughs> it is always rigged. <gasps> Thus, Twitch chat is simply yelling the truth, and it does not matter that they are yelling rigged, or rather, it, it, because it is never rigged, it is not unethical to, again, state the truth, just like, as a reminder, how bald Doug is. Third, is overusing jokes to where they aren't funny anymore. During deliberation, I asked the prosecution to provide even one single example of when Twitch chat used a joke too much to the point where it wasn't funny. The example that the prosecution gave was point number one about how Doug is not bald. But unfortunately for Doug, he is bald, and thus it ends up being a circular argument. The second example that the prosecution gave is that Twitch chat yells rigged, again, a circular argument. And as we have already approved that it is always rigged, the prosecution's examples are invalid. The prosecution was then further unable to provide a third example, or any example at all, which was not invalid. Thus, I request the dismissal of the third charge of overusing jokes. Fourth and finally, Having a gambling addiction is not a matter of ethics or unethics. Having a gambling addiction is a personal problem, which we must help Twitch chat recover from if they gamble outside of their means and in manners where they do not want to voluntarily gamble. However, their level of ethics should not be determined by the extent to their gamble the extent of their gambling behavior. That is all. I request that you provide a not guilty verdict on the basis of my arguments. That was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot. Yep. Circular problem. Invalid. I'm with you. Dismissal. Rehab. I rest my case. Does Not the, guilty. Does the defendant get to say I rest my case? <laughs> I don't. Okay. Um, Twitch chat. Wait, 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 hold on. Don't look. Spoiler. Twitch chat. This will determine your future. Talking. Well, Counselor Recirculator, I see you've tied your own noose with these circular arguments you're festooning my courtroom with. Exhibit A, Douglas Douglas, could well be a naked mole rat borrowed from Twitchville Zoo for all I care. Bald or not, it's no license to perpetually poke fun as per the Twitchville's bald bill that insists respect everyone's choice or lack of hair. Thank you! As for the rigging ruckus, even if the stream was as scripted as a silent movie with subtitles, there's no need to cry rigged every turn of the corner. The streamer's sanctum declaration states every stream is sacred, respect its randomness. 
Yeah. Furthermore, <laughs> parroting the same old joke doesn't keep it funny. It makes a parrot out of you, counselor. Lastly, reminding you of the gambler's glee act. Addiction isn't a punchline, it's a problem. But for your diligent defense, recirculator, you've shown admirable loyalty in your absurdity-ridden arguments. However, your dismissive approach to Twitch chat's shortcomings only reveals a blind allegiance that trumps ethical concern. Thank you. Guilty. Counselor Recirculator, pack up your mighty wheels of fallacy oh, wait. and escort Twitch chat out of Twitchville. He just banned you and all of Twitch. And that's the end of the Dug Dug stream! Literally Great. everybody's banned! Congratulations! Woo! Great job, Judge Bot! Man, you're a terrible lawyer. I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> Woo! We did it! Everybody's banned! Literally every single person lost today. Alright. I mean, to be fair, he fucking roasted you with those laws that are about... Hold on, let's, let's look at his script. The streamer's sanctum declaration. Hold on. Respect everyone's choice or lack of hair. <laughs> wait, wait, yeah. Could be a naked roll rat, barred from Twitchville Zoo, bald or not, it's no license to professionally poke fun as per the Twitch Twitchville's bald bill that insists respect that everyone's- doesn't exist. <laughs> He's using bills that don't exist. Hey, I win! I win! Oh, uh, such a good prosecutor. So, where do I file an appeal for this? Um, you don't. Twitch bot, uh, Judge Bot wins today's stream. Um, guys, I'm gonna be officially retiring. Judge Bot will now be the new streamer of the Dungeon Community. Just wonder why. Parkser, do you have a means of changing the judge's mind? Oh, oh, oh! I think we know what you're talking about. I'm not gonna shoot the judge, okay. <laughs> All right, bye, thanks, Parkser. Oh. All right. Well, I think we've learned today that literally every member of our community is unethical. Congratulations. Um, thank you to all of uh, whoever or whatever. So we learned nothing. Well, I mean, this is one way to think about it. Can we call the judge mean names? Only in private. Doug's Give the worst judge lawyer ever. Give Ludwig's channel to stream on. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just set up Judge Bot, and he just sits and judges all of Ludwig's viewers, and that just goes on until Ludwig kicks me off. All right. Judge Wig. I love that he immediately called Parkser Counselor Recirculator and made a point of telling Pike, pack up your mighty wheels of fallacy and escort Twitch chat out of Twitchville. Um, what a great guy. What a great judge. Thank you, Wise Pete. All right. Hey, y'all. That was a very fun stream. This was a super stupid idea, but this was very fun. Um... Literally rigged. Doug paid the judge. No, I didn't. Are you the judge banned me like eight times in a row? It was How fun being mod for a day. On earth is this rigged? Thanks, Doug and Chat. Thank you, Fummy, I for I have to go move to a new city now, I guess. Yeah, that's kind of important. Oh, you mean out of Twitchville? Yeah. No, you you have twenty four hours. The judge was bribed. I didn't pay the judge. He worked for free. Um, cool. I We'll be streaming again on, I don't know, Thursday or Friday. Definitely not tomorrow. Friday is more likely. And then, I don't know, probably something chill. Maybe some coding. Maybe some peggle. Um, I have a idea I'm excited for, but that will probably be next week instead of Friday. That is it. Thank you for hanging out. This was very fun. Uh, uh, anything else I got to do or say? I don't think so. I'm trying to remember. I'm banned for one million seconds? That was that other guy. That was douche douche. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Let me, uh, I'll turn on TV. Oh, by the way, for YouTube, uh, wherever you guys are. Are you still around? No, you're dead, apparently. Where is YouTube? Chat. Oh, that's why. Hello, YouTube chat. Um, I do owe you guys emotes, just so you're aware. I, I put in the request yesterday to... 
um, to add memberships to YouTube, and then you'd have to pay five dollars and you could get the memberships. And I'll send you a feet pick too, one one feet pick because I had to have that. I had to add that. Um, so at some point I will do that. Cool. Wrong button. Cool. Are we still farting? No, 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 that ended. Yeah, I guess with the farting thing, it just builds up. You know, the. the Can't give them emotes and not us. The gas Against pressure builds TOS up. TOS simulcasting point one ruins my Twitch experience. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Hell, YouTube, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sweet. I'm out. I will see you guys later this week. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, goodbye.